Welcome to our fifth edition play of Dungeons and Dragons in the Points of Light setting. When last we left our heroes, the hidden laboratory raised more questions than answers, and they continue their travel east. Across the sea, they hope to find clues as to what happened to the rest of the Warforged in Siege's squad centuries ago. So, you are still in a small valley between the Dawnforge Mountains. You left the laboratory and are beginning to make your way north. It took about a day, the detour south to the hidden cave that held more questions than answers, some mysterious chests, clothes that don't seem to make much sense, and the broken glass that Johan remembered from many, many months ago. And now you are heading north, and because we have made such little progress on the hex map, <laughs> you immediately move up one hex. Congratulations. Hey. Let's go. You get it closer and closer through the mountains. Actually, you're in the mountains there on that hex. You went oh. diagonally that way. The dwarven tunnels in these mountains are slightly different. They're smaller, they're narrower, and they're further apart. The winding uh, roads have longer and longer spaces between tunnels, and you realize <clears throat> these are less used by merchants. The, the dwarves who are traversing these lands are doing so at further depths, and the roads are less maintained. There are sections where a bridge would be really nice to go from the peak of one mountain to the next, but instead you have to make your way down the slope and up another until eventually you find the opening to the next tunnel and manage to save a few hours of time. And then night falls and catches you uh, in the mountains. You can choose to camp in one of these 10, 15 foot wide tunnels or you can find a slightly open uh, space in the, in the mountain. Nights get quite chilly despite being late summer. Uh, at these heights, it, it still gets quite cold. There's no risk of, of snow avalanches, but still, you may choose to to sleep in in the mountain rather than outside. I'm okay with... <clears throat> yeah, I'm okay <laughs> with any, any option here. I already got what I wanted to get, so... As long as we get to Bergport, I don't care where we are we sleeping to die. Let's yeah. let's sleep inside the mountain. I I think it's better. I don't know what everyone else thinks. I'm alright with that, yeah. I have no problem. Alright, camp. Camp. You set up we camp. Have the commander? Yeah. Inside <laughs> Inside the, the tunnel. And it's up to you if you make a small fire, but you set up your tiny huts. Uh, Sam <clears throat> uh, continues to stand watch. I'm also going to and, stay watch. <laughs> yeah. What, what does it look like in the dark environment without even the, the light of the stars and the moon after a very eventful day? Are you asking about the tiny huts by any chance, or...? Sure. Like, what's the mood? Hmm. Um, I'm, just... I'm, I'm radiant. Like, yeah! <laughs> I got some stuff! <laughs> Are you in your... I have some ideas. Are you in your hut? I am a hut. I train my hut. I know. Are you in, the, in your hut? In your dome? Or are you yeah. in the other dome? No, I, I, in my dawn, I, okay. I don't partake on those frivolous domes from Siege, other people. Siege will go to your dome and knock it. You, you can pass. I'm going, my, 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 <laughs> my fist will, will pass, understand, and uh, go inside. Ah, <clears throat> you, you, you can see that I have some, uh, Rustic uh, uh, commodities like I don't know using uh, a box from mm -hmm. our, our stuff to use as a as a desk. Mm -hmm. You see, I have some paper, some books that I have uh, put them in, in there. I'm, I'm writing something. Oh, <laughs> wow! 
What are you doing here? What do you want? I was looking for you. It wasn't hard to find you. Tell me. I think I will... Do you know how much we need to uh, to walk to go to the next port? How much time travel... I... Actually, we... I do. I do, right? Yes, about three days. Yeah, about three days. Uh, when I first woke up, I, uh, I got to a place named... Uh, Bergport? Yeah. I was a bit confused and I did all the travel by foot. But yeah, that's around the month, the, the time it, it would take. How do you feel? Me? Right now? Yes. Pretty good. I that... mean, like, like I said before, I, I, I don't care that much, but the fact that I got some answers and theories, I think it was pretty good uh, to go to the hidden laboratory. And I'm pretty good to brought, uh, brought all of you. you. You got some nice ideas and you were useful. And I like when you are useful. I am useful now? Yeah. Question. You, 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 should, you Question. usually are. Question. Uh, during our travel, since Keldav is with us, I haven't been useful for you in any moment. Yeah, there, there are some times where you are quite uh, useless. But that's all the people, except in, me, of course. In what way? Like, I, don't know. I will I, be I don't... replaceable? Or like, I'm... No, not suited no, for I, some no, task. I, please, uh, don't don't take the conversation to that way. I, I'm not trying to say that. <laughs> I, I don't know what is the equivalent, equivalent for Jesus, but... <laughs> yes. Uh, look, I, I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to try to be careful with my words and say... It's okay to be useless sometimes. You don't have to be an expert on everything, unless you're me. And yeah, it, it's okay. Like you, you have to come up with a plan. You leave that to Kelda, right? Correct. And, totally. And everyone else is useless in that uh, scenario, right? Mm -hmm. It's okay for us to be useless, except me. Uh, but it's okay. So, if I say sometimes you were useless, it's okay. We are here. And you are useful in other things. You are not going to... Oh, sorry, English. Are you going to leave the party? Are you going to leave the, the squad? Do you plan to do that? I don't plan to. I will do it if I have to. There are things I want to. In, in life. You know. Money. Fame. Power. Godhood. The usual. <laughs> uh, and if, if you don't want to help me with that, I, I have to do it on my own. I have no problem helping you. As long as you don't uh, you don't turn into a demon or a devil. I don't want to. But maybe. I don't know. I don't want to be dismantled, but maybe we are not look, trying I'm, to look for that. Don't I, look I'm for that. I'm I'm not trying to say anything. Like that. If it happens, it happens. But let's I don't know, it's just business. We are we are cool now. We are cool. I'm so? I'm I'm glad that I'm glad that this turned good. 
We didn't found we didn't need any pillows here. I'm going to leave. I'm I'm not saying anything. I'm just returning to my notes. If someone see Siege uh, leave the the tent, we'll see his eye screen. And with that, I think we move on to the next day. No, uh, wait I, I, a sec. I, sure. Yeah, I, yeah. Actually, I have something to talk with <laughs> Johan. <laughs> actually, <laughs> I'm sorry. everybody on a key okay. yeah. But this is actually, this is like this is 180 from what she just I mean, just did. Just we are going to get a visit from every one of us. No, Kildo <laughs> comes in with the um, quiver where he gets the arrows and has spears in it and everything. But he has he's not hasn't it doesn't have it on him. He has like in front of him. And he's putting his hand inside where the 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 place where you can put the um, the spears and, and there's there's three spaces if I'm if I'm not mistaken, and I'm I'm doing that. And I get inside the in your dome and I say, you know, I think I think I may need some help. I know, gloat. You you always need some help, in a lot of not things, but tell me what not now? From, not from you. Okay, <laughs> so I, I have an idea here. and I want to know if it's. Okay, I'm gonna say if it's possible, but when I ask if it's possible, I'm not saying like in a year, I'm saying in a sh short term thing. Mm -hmm. This is the quiver, right? And you've seen it before. Uh, I wanna change it where I can put different kinds of arrows. And you always in... get the arrow that you want when you. Yeah, basically. Like, I, cause here, and I just, like, here you can get, and there's, over a hundred arrows inside one, one uh, where, where the arrows go there are like if i'm not mistaken 18 spears on the other in the other part <laughs> this this thing uh, works like the bag of many stuff in it right like you yeah, put your hand of. and you think on the thing and you no. pull it out not right? not exactly the same so okay i'm gonna read the Do the it. text uh, each of the quiver uh, quivers uh, three components connect to the, an extra dimensional space that allows the quiver to hold numerous items while never uh, weighing more than two pounds. The shortest compartment can hold up to 60 arrows, bolts or similar similar objects. Uh, the mid sides compartment can hold up to 18 javelins or similar objects and the longest compartment can hold up to six long objects like uh, such as bows, quarter staffs or spears okay so actually i don't have a hundred maybe I, I i do but not inside the quiver at all times maybe i have them in the backpack because i bought like yeah. 120 arrows or i have 120 arrows um uh and so i'm basically you it's not that you think it's they're there just in an extra mm -hmm. dimensional space so basically I don't use the one with the spears, and Siege is the one that asked me for the spears, and now he doesn't he, need he the did, one he with the spears. Used them. He, he's yeah, I know. Like I, all, all the time with that uh, stone spear. Yeah, like, I know. Yeah. Okay, so I, I'm a bit disappointed. I know, but fuck it, doesn't matter. So uh, <laughs> I want to know: Can we do something with this space? Like. You want to expand it? You said for other things? Uh, like, like if I can put... Do you I want a baby pouch? Right? Back no, there? no, no, no. Like, I, I'm, I'm thinking about like, okay, so this is one my, my thoughts and I want you to tell me if, if what, what we can do. I want to have a little bit more of a variety in my attacks. Yeah, you are pretty one note. I know. You don't have to tell me. So, the thing is... I want different things Type to attack of with. Arrows. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I imagine types of arrow. I have youth imagine another thing. I welcome the suggestion. So, what do you think? What we could, what could, what can we do, and how long would it take? Mm, what? Well, I have to experiment with the thing to see what what is the margins, the okay, the limits that I can do. Okay. Uh, and don't worry, I can 
have this by the time we are on on Bergport. Like, no, oh, that's good. You're, atta you're attacking with an expert. If you don't uh, disturb my uh, work here, I can I can have uh, ready. Okay, that's good. That's great. Um, for a go. I know you seem happy, but I'm I'm actually happy you're happy. I'm always happy, but yeah. Nah, that's a lie. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the the one question I do have for you, Johan or L? Do, do you do you want me to call myself like just a letter, like some kind of? By cycle? the way, it it actually kind of fit with you, so. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take offense on that. I just say that sounds like a psycho. <laughs> I mean. But you Johan say is... psycho, I say Johan. What's the difference? <laughs> Shut the fuck no, up. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you want me to leave the the quiver with you? Yeah. Please. Yeah, okay. H have a good have a good night. Thanks. And I'll I'm off. Jeez. <laughs> Wonderful. So I'm going to approach Lena. Sure. Yeah. This is really quick. So. Um... So I wanted your help because I want to make this locket, like yeah. with pictures inside. Sure, yeah. So I, I, I really suck at drawing. So um, maybe you can make a picture, uh, like a painting of each one of us. Mm -hmm. So I, 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 I show you my sketches of the <laughs> locket. So. And I, I, I show you what I want to do, so yeah, you can, so we, you can help me with the, the project. Yeah, sure. I mean, the I'm, I'm studying you guys, and you actually, yeah, I, I think Lena would do this. Um, she's going to show you the sketches that she has been doing during the trip, and you see it's full of notes and everything, but you can see, you know, the progression of each one of you guys and uh, maybe some other versions uh you see a very distorted version of johan in a, in a, in a corner um <laughs> is that out no it's not out um but yeah i've been studying you guys so i think it would be a lot of a, a really good practice actually you need to talk to siege about something now that you remind me okay so i i give you like the the sizes and there yeah. you yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Give me. Um, I think I think I can get it. I can get them all ready. I don't know when. When do you want them to uh, to be ready? I mean, I think that it will take me because I want to take. Um, um, I want it to look to be very nice, and this is the first time I do something so small mm -hmm. and with so much detail. So maybe like ten days, I guess. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that can do. Do you have like a do you, do you have like a sample of a locket that I can because I really need to take a look at the size to see how much detailing to get in there? No, but if you give me a a, a paper, we maybe we can draw it like real size and we can work in with that drawing. Oh yeah, like sure. A, and Lena pulls out um, a piece of parchment and immediately she starts making all of these different. Um, I mean, she starts with ovals and circles, and she's gonna give you like a whole lot of different options during the next 15 minutes because you know she oh, is but... obsessive with that. Mm -hmm. um, Wonderful. Cool. Okay. I think now. Uh, uh, no, I'm no. sorry. <laughs> I, I want to type with Sam actually. Okay, I, I, need, I, need, I need to give you uh, give the viewers some context. Then you did the worst this. thing before the the session and said, "Oh, if you want to role play, this is the moment. This is what you get." Then I no, am so no, sorry. No, we, we haven't <laughs> have a session like some months. Yeah. Yeah. We have so, a lot so, yeah. yeah. to talk. Yeah, uh, uh, the so, holidays were tough to schedule around. Who, who else yeah. in the queue? Well, this is next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, we need to take numbers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We have more nights, by the way. Yeah. Yes, there's a couple more nights yet until you even reach the village. <laughs> yeah, there is a fast pass to this experience. Uh, mm -hmm. I want to just have a, a little chat with Go ahead. Sam. 
So, Sam, do you remember, like, last night or two nights ago? I, I don't remember. It's like months, but it's just today. Um, that we took a look at Sit, right? Do you remember yes. the, the, the wooden innards and core thingy? Yes. The living wood. What are your thoughts on, on it? It is remarkable. Hmm, it aside is... from that... <laughs> Like, do you think it's man-made? Is grown? Both. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Because I want to achieve something similar, but with metal, living metal. Some way to uh, grant this property to metal, so you can reconfigure and change. M make it malleable. Interesting. Think about it. Maybe, I, I think a whole body made, or some of that, would be really beneficial because you can adapt it to whatever you need in the moment. Yes. So, if it, it's like grown in, in the nature, we have to, it, it's, it's not something natural, something must be affecting it, like some extent external force. Maybe we can simulate that on other uh, elements, like the metal. Hmm. Make an arcana check and go ahead and you can make it with advantage as Sam will help you. Because metal and wood are very different things. Yeah. So as you're working through it, you're remembering some of the notes you took uh, of the living wood, and the fact that it's it's something that was grown, but somehow whatever seed it was was told not that it was the seed of a tree, but that it was the seed of a muscular system, mm -hmm. uh, and the abilities that it had were. The, the ability to regenerate and to respond to divine energy and, and things like that was specifically because it was something that was already living. So mm -hmm. to create, to have metal that could respond in this way, you would first have to find living metal and then tell it that its appropriate shape was what Sam desired. Uh, mm -hmm. With the amount, you got quite a, quite a, a high check. Uh, I think you're starting to think what are the things are malleable and you you remember something you fought for the first time in uh, some caves in Harkenwald there were multiple different kinds of slimes that had different properties different shapes and some of them were malleable mm. uh, and you remember a nearly translucent cube that was almost invisible to you because it was slightly underwater and it had a similar refractive index you remember a greenish uh, acidic slime that was quite bright and, and very evident and you also remember a huge black one that gave uh, siege a lot of uh, trouble and those interacted with different materials differently so some completely dissolved organics but left bones and metal uh, untouched others uh, chewed through through metal without issue and you remember trying to isolate a sample of the acid and how you you had to get a, a specific purity of a glass vial to be able to to use it and those were probably the result of uncontrolled exposure to the elemental chaos like mm -hmm. chaos seeping through and forming these entities but you know that there are similar organisms that behave in not just in acid in many different uh, shapes and for I mean for starters there are lava elementals or lava entities that flow uh, there are of course those made of water but there are also creatures of blood that can move and that are can be extremely toxic and uh, difficult to to deal with as they can infect uh, blood of, of living creatures 
Yeah, it's you. And there are also, of course, metals that are liquid at mm -hmm. ordinary temperatures. So yeah. there are many ways through which you can begin to approach the the design. Yeah, because, like I said, a body, be, be, because your body now regenerates, but it's, it's an arcane array that we devised to help yourself with the with the wounds that you sustain and battle protect with me because of course uh, but a, a body that can adapt like siege and reconfigure itself and be durable enough like true metal but malleable enough that's i think it's a good starting point we just have to think how to do it. It's not impossible. Nothing is impossible for me. It's just a question from of how. Yes. The characteristics that you describe would be beyond even Siege, I believe. The mutability that we have observed it's appears to be within his core. Yeah. And the living he... wood adapts to it in some way. But Yeah. And th this is a step beyond, of course. Hmm. I'm, st I'm thinking on improving on what I'm seeing. Yes. The living wood is a particularly rare material. We would need something perhaps even rarer to create the body that you described. In the meantime, I do have some thoughts on my current design. And Sam proceeds to explain that they want more speed because this is their next iteration. They had one that was very flimsy and extremely fast and could, you know, have multiple attacks per turn and cast spells, but it broke down too quickly. And the current version is, Sam is very pleased with the durability, but they keep getting left behind and they have no ranged options, which they would like to rectify. Yeah, well, it, it's hard without compromising your durability, but I, I think some options. Let me finish with the... Uh, the commander <laughs> uh, request first and while you uh, help me think uh, this whole living metal conundrum and uh, because uh, and then we can uh, add some modifications to, to your body i think uh, some uh, if we can't uh, make yourself faster uh, without a uh, reducing the the weight on your body some teleportation is needed you you can teleport right now but it's my magic really uh, so maybe something that you can do. Yeah, so many ideas. This is awesome. Yay. And that's that's my conversation with Siege. Because well, I win. With Siege? Sam. With me? Oh. Siege, Keldam, and Sam. And, and oh. this is the three. Oh. No, we... Very good. Uh, sorry, Daniel, I know that you wanted to go elsewhere, no, but... I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> it, it's just going to feel a little weird if the next two nights there are no conversations. No conversations. I, I, I have no conversations. I'm saving mine. I'm saving mine. Obviously, I'm saving mine. no conversations. Have conversations. Oh, oh. I'm spacing out. Um, looking for... Uh, as soon as I get out the the, the dome of uh, Johan, I'm looking for a girlfriend. So I think you find Gufran like uh, sitting uh, like basically on the floor kind of meditating uh, and then as you're approaching like she sort of like stands up uh, makes like a bow towards like she's looking towards a wall basically and then turns towards you and she's like uh, gathering some uh, there's like a, kind of a, an incense and like a, like a pot to basically gather the incense ash and some other things and like she's like turning off things and gathering all of these little things like and putting putting it uh in her backpack what are you doing i hi i was in fact praying mm. praying to the setting sun I, I cannot actually see it here but i i think that west is that way so, and she points towards the world. But that's a wall. But I have the sun in my heart. I can feel it still setting. 
that's a little confusing but okay uh, I wanted I came to tell you I just had a conversation with with Johan went well did you oh I'm glad yes Th uh, thank you for your words it helped me a lot it helped me a lot I'm glad that they were useful uh, somehow um, was did Johan hurt you or was he nice he, uh, as nice as he can be I, I, I... he's Johan I think it was, he was nice. He said that I will. I'm not use. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm useful most of the time. Sometimes I'm not useful. But I understand why, because it's not my speciality. Yeah, that sounds like what Johan would think. It's a compliment. Well, I congratulations. Mm -hmm. You have taken your first step uh, towards. Improving your relationship with Johan and maybe with other people. What I think is good is that I didn't need any pillow for that. Sorry, you didn't any any what? pillow. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes it happens. People are not are not as um as hurtful as no. they are some other times. So yeah, well, it's it's a good thing. For a minute, I thought that maybe I needed pillow so to cover mine. Yeah. But no. Well, you know, so, some some injuries are more of like the heart and the mind than you know, like physical. Uh, you sometimes, you know, you look sad, like the last time when I approached you, and I knew that because of the color of your eyes. People are not as easily readable but you can get a sense of if they are hurt what because you, it shows what do you mean the color of my eyes haven't you noticed your eyes change color depending how you feel mara I haven't mara mentioned it that, that before huh. see she she's she's uh she has some insight on her, some wisdom. Since when this happened? I don't know. I think as far as I've known you, you've always had like a very expressive eyes. Uh, more than other people. Why no one told me this before? Probably because they thought you knew. People tend to do that. They tend to assume. Huh. Interesting. That's something new to think about it. That's a very good way to look at it. Anyway, thank you, Gufran, for all. You are a very good friend, companion. I'm glad to be your friend. I'm going to tell Mara. I'm going to leave. <laughs> Good night, Siege. <laughs> Good night. Don't worry, Patty. I'm not going to do that today. Yeah. <laughs> so, after. That would uh, be tomorrow. Uh, yeah, a late <laughs> night chatting after many interesting developments and insights into each other's characters and stories. The next day dawns and you move out of the tunnel onto what you realize are the peak of this mountain chain. And it takes maybe an hour as the sun is now fully hitting the, the sides of the mountain that you reach the crest and suddenly before you, you see a hundred kilometers ahead of you, the low mountains, then there are some mesas, and beyond that you see a plain that stretches out all the way to the sea, and you know somewhere in that area is the, the town, the small port where you find to ha where you hope to find passage east. You realize the weather is different on this side of the mountains. The vegetation is different. There, it's not the thick forest that you're used to 
It's a, a cold grassland. Even though it's summer, you can feel the heat of the sun. The wind uh, chills you. And you see there are no forests here. There are lone trees that are uh, separate and standing out. But mostly you see shrubs that poke out of a, a thick grass that covers most of the slopes. Uh, and it's quite green. You realize you see mist uh, along the side uh, of the of the sea. Uh, so in the distance, you see these small, low clouds. And this is something that I would like to ask your characters, because I only know for one of you. Have you seen the ocean before? I imagine, for those who are familiar with our country, it's like mm -hmm. arriving yeah. to Coquimbo after traveling for so long. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I get it's it. It's so good. So, um, Lena is going to pull out um, her her main sketchbook, and she's going to instead of sketching, she's going to just start painting immediately, so that she doesn't forget what this looks like as she is floating on her broom and etc. And she's very excited. She. You, you can see that she's very excited about doing it. Uh, I, I think. I think Kilda that Mara has gone has gone on family vacations to the. <laughs> sure. Uh, I, I think uh, Kelda or, or Maravilla, you guys could give me nature or survival, just as you're looking out at, at this wide expanse. Has yeah, Kilda hasn't seen the Kilda ocean. Ha I'm trying to think about this. Supposedly, I, I remember battles. Yeah. They weren't naval battles, but I think you would have seen sites like this okay. one. You would have been standing on tall mountains and seen open ocean far uh, in the distance. It's a different battle place. Mm -hmm. It's a different battleground. Okay. Um, so, before I roll, uh, Kilt of Hassan seen the ocean. Interesting. Hasn't uh, or has? Hasn't. No, it's the first, actually, technically speaking, this is the first time outside the, because he, the he was, no, he was in the barony of uh, Theron, the Theron, Theron? Yes. Um, he was there first, so he has never left the forest, technically speaking. Um, and you see him a bit. He's not amazed, he's calculating. <laughs> like someone I... who's seeing different information. Like he understood what a lake was. He thought he understood what, a, what the sea was, but this is bigger. Mm. So everything changed. Like it's, it's, it's uh, literally like put inputting different information uh so he's not in in, in awe it's more like okay yeah and trying to figure that out um before i roll daniel a question because I, mm -hmm. I i asked you two months ago and i forgot to <laughs> ask you again um data in the in the day prior before we got to the mountains was i able to find any of the vegetation to make the I believe we rolled for it, and you did not find it. Okay, but that that that's I, 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 the question was last day was it, well, there was no vis visitation. Correct. Okay. Was, we were on okay. the tunnel. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. That's I. I was double checking that. So I'll, you said nature or uh, survival. Okay. It's not that good. What did you roll? Maravilla huh? got twenty-two survival. Yeah, you. I, I rolled uh, nature uh, 16. 16. So, Kelda, you're looking at this environment and you keep focusing on the ocean. Like, all of the different characteristics that that would require. You're. This is even more than... You are used to seeing forest beyond what your eyes can see. But this is a different environment that you're not used to. And you're trying to focus on the land in front of you, the part that you know you're going to have to walk through, but you keep 
going up to the ocean and trying to figure out, like, what do you remember that you had to solve? What were the resources that were most important? You can't even drink that water. You have to be carrying the water for drinking with you. Okay, and you're looking around. You're not seeing... There are small streams coming down these mountains. And you're going like, right, so... Hmm. Drinking water, that's the most important part. That's where civilization tends to form. And you're looking at the plains. They aren't... The streams don't seem to be meeting. There's no river that cuts a valley through this these mountains. Maravilla, you are noticing a similar thing. There's not these rivers that join to create quite uh, massive ri uh, valleys that were towns and, and even great cities can form. But you know that the mountains that you are standing on, deep, deep below, are massive dwarven kingdoms. And you realize these small streams go into the mountains and don't come back out. They are feeding underground caves and environments. And perhaps there are great rivers. They just never come back out into the surface. And the massive cities are deep underground. And um. I think, yeah, with the 22 survival, you realize this la this land is less prone to wildfires at the moment, but the the green of the grass is not coming from rivers because there aren't any. So you imagine that you look at the mist that is around the sea, moisture comes from the sea and is swept onto the land and is stopped by the mountains. Okay, it doesn't reach to the other side of the of the forest of these mountains to to that deep thick forest so with that uh, you reach the last few tunnels uh, that allow you to uh, traverse through these mountains as if they were regular terrain mm -hmm. and you are now going over low hills there are plateaus that last 10 uh, 15 kilometers and then gentle slopes you're looking through what kind of predators would you expect without forests to hide in? I mean, foxes, maybe, that could hide among the grass. How tall is the grass? I mean, for or... you, it's about chest high, but for the for most of the <laughs> others, it's mm. the knee or the thigh. It's so, it, so they're I'm low grass, and then there are better. yeah. And we're riding our mounts. Yeah, your mounts. Mm -hmm. so, okay, so and and in fact, you notice as. As you're moving, occasionally Penelope will drift slightly to the side and will take a bite out of something and will keep moving. <laughs> and yeah, of course. <laughs> there are some shrubs yes. that she'll turn her nose at and not go close to. And it, are we in summer or spring? It's I late think. summer. And now that uh, uh, as it's closer to the middle of the day, the heat of the sun is now hitting you and it's getting quite warm. Yeah. That, that, that's why I was asking. Oh, Lina, you you are really yeah. white, uh, white skin. You're going to get sunburned. <laughs> no, but don't worry about it. My 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 head is kind of white, so don't worry about it. But uh, oh, what can you do about this? That's a very good suggestion, actually. Do, oh, do God. you look? If you look at Johan, he's with a parasol, <laughs> writing. <laughs> 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 black, what he says. A black parasol. Put on put on some bad black clothes. Black clothes over your mouth and your in your forehead as well. Black clothes are good in the sun. They absorb the heat. I feel fine. <laughs> do you, do you feel heat? Actually, that's a good question. Do you feel heat? I've been burned before. Yeah, but that's like a structural damage in your body. Mm -hmm. Because you you have wood on on you. Yes. Like, do you feel the heat right now? Because it's, it's awful. I hate it. I, re I register the damage. Is that pain? I think he's asking to you, Daniel. I believe so. Then yes. Hmm, interesting. So, yeah. Regarding the actual temperature and how Siege feels that, I'll leave that up to Jose. The sunlight is slightly warming the metal. Yeah. That is your outer <laughs> layer. 
Let, let, so let, it, it is entirely up to you. Let just say, uh, have you tried to touch a car in the in the sun? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> so Mara says, uh, "Great that I can prepare." So she, she takes from her bag um, cream and she starts pouring. Like, do you this, have? This some? was made for my abuelita. Mara is the one that put a uh, sun sunblock sunscreen Sun, yeah. sunscreen yeah. sunscreen and a gets casera, completely sunscreen. white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like spread it in, until it's just glossy or something. No, no. It's, it's just white. All right. <laughs> Is a disgusting summer person that loves to see it. Like. She's enjoying this so much. I, I don't understand as a player how much she enjoys it. Praise but she does, yeah. Yeah, it's wonderful. She's like, this is the best thing ever. Um, uh, when, when, when you actually see uh, El Gato, you see El Gato's like, literally jumping around in the grass without Keldav on, on, on him. Mm -hmm. And in 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 uh, in a minute or two, um, I, I want I rolled a, a, a stealth check, so I don't know if someone else is gonna see me, but I'm literally trying to like see how how good is the grass for hiding. I rolled a twenty six so stealth check for Keldav wearing a cloak of elven kind. Yeah. You can blend completely into the grass. Uh, and I, I, are you trying for El Gato to try and find you, or just... yeah? Basically, we're we're yeah. we're like doing the hide and seek seek game where I'm but hiding, he's trying to seek. In. I mean, go oh, ahead and roll a perception cool. check for El Gato, but I'm 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 fairly certain that I, El Gato I is like having fun. Me. Yeah, <laughs> it, they're having fun <laughs> sniffing the ground, but basically are completely useless at finding you. You have to spe yeah. you have to choose to go like. Yeah. Pick up a branch and snap it, no. and then no, I, I, it turns I, and bounces okay. in that direction. I actually have another thing in mind for this. Sure. I don't know if you guys get the reference, but uh, Big Ben Theory, hmm? there's a scene where Sheldon is in a ball pit, and he goes down the ball pit, and yes. he, uh, <laughs> someone's trying to get him. And he goes up in another place and say bazinga and goes down. <laughs> so basically, yeah. he's, mm, yeah, sure. he's, he's doing that with Elgato. Um, he rolled a natural one, so Elgato is literally yeah. like. <laughs> They're just having fun. He's just like sniffing new smells, and yeah. occasionally he'll get catches the scent of some kind of rabbit or other rodent, and seems to lose. And a massive paw scratches at the ground and tries to dig out a, a burrow, and then you pop up, and he remembers that he's supposed to be chasing you. So, I, with that, yeah. I have a, I have an idea. Um, mm -hmm. uh, since we'll ask to everyone, uh, do anyone need to cool off? Yeah, I'm dying here. Do you have any water? <laughs> I mean, I, I, oh, think so. I, can, okay. I, I can create water. Okay. If we, if, we, if we need to. Can you give me some? I, I think we can prepare that. Like, if we, we no. don't have water. Yeah, but I don't have any streams. water. Siege doesn't have any water. Siege doesn't. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here, take some water. Okay. Uh, what do you give me? A bowl, something? A uh, water skin. A water, yeah. a water skin? Hmm. So. I'm going to try this. I'm going to grab the water skin, focus on the on this, and for the first time, I'm trying to focus my core to the mm -hmm. water, and I cast a uh, freeze water. <laughs> I can do this as part of the of the Thundra. <laughs> barbarian. Okay. The Thundra barbarian. Can you? Post the text in roll 20 or send it to me? Yeah, I'm going to put... Yeah. Pl give me a second because... This is what it says. Oh. oh, wrong enter. Oh, that's why I was copying and pasting with the wrong keyboard. Here it is. Please check the... Mm. The recording. Mm-hmm. That you... So, 
you you squeeze out the water uh, of the water skin it, it pulls into your hand mm -hmm. and as it begins to drip down you focus and you feel it's it's a minute amount of the energy that you normally use to to channel through you are used to it suffusing your entire body and extending mm -hmm. even outward but this just it's it's a small pulse that flows into your hand and it the water completely freezes over you now have a flat piece of ice and there are icicles dripping down from your hand and your eye your fingers are frozen together and it just takes you a moment of effort to go and snap it and now you have a like little half sphere of ice here ice oh thank you actually this is pretty useful maybe you can do that like a lot i uh, think so it's not costing um, costing me any effort no, uh, then i'm going to ask you to do it and going to i don't know with a piece of cloth put uh, ice around my neck Mm -hmm. While I'm riding my <laughs> ghostly, ghostly steam. Uh, ah, I will offer this for everyone. People would love you in the desert, my friend. They would really love you from where I come from. How long have you been able to do this? To be honest, I don't know. I think this is the beginning? I never tried. It's, so it's a property of your primal core, your elemental core. I think I can do this since my aura change. So, hmm. it's safe to assume that you can just burn stuff in your hand when you are in the fire mode. Right? I have never been on fire mode. Thunder no. and ice, never fire. Uh, Redcon. No, so no. you can just ele electrocute the uh, stuff. <laughs> I, I think it makes sense Redcon. if Johan had mentioned fire because you were able to sense fire within the core. Mm -hmm. oh, then Redcon the Redcon. Redcon the Redcon. <laughs> <laughs> When you are on, on fire mode, if you Never if we been. can un unlock the, the fire mode, I don't think it's, it's a, a good idea. Like, we just came through a forest fire, like really dumb idea. I don't know why the commander said that. And yeah, when you say when you say that, Kelda literally appears beside you and says "fuck you" and goes down. <laughs> A moment later, El Gato bounced through and starts <laughs> sniffing through the grass. All right. I don't know why, but now El Gato in my head is like toothless. Playing like a Yes. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay, now I have to make the gif as well. God damn, it won't do this to me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, I will say, Juanin? the teeth are almost always very visible with El Gato. Uh, yeah, they it, act it, cute, it, but it's yeah. nightmares. Yeah. Like, yeah. In, so, no. Sorry. No. The gift. No. Yes. No. The gift. <laughs> no. No. God damn it. <laughs> Fine. Procreate dreams. Sorry. Um, in in all of this, or I don't know. At at some point, uh, Siege Lina will come to you. Uh, hey, can I can I ask you kind of like a personal question? Mm-hmm. But I think it's it's kind of important for for what we're doing too. Do you do you remember because you're you're looking for your family, brothers, or your unit, your your, your brothers? It's the same. Do you remember what they look like? Yes. Could you describe them? Yes. Like, would you mind? No. Here, here's the thing. I've been thinking that maybe we need to know who we're looking for. So I think it would serve very well to everyone that we have a visual idea. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right? So could, could you describe to me, like, 
who they're... And this is, by the way, the fourth wall question so that the audience doesn't have to go back to the episode. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, but... But... How many are we looking for? Do, do they look different? Is there... Is there who was the leader in, in your unit? Were you the leader? Was there someone else? No, I'm not the leader. My unit was... My unit is composed by six members. They are Handel, Sharp, Sneak, Chill, Batch, and me. All right. Handel is there... was our commander. Is right. our commander. And I this is intentional. Siege story. is not. It's yeah. changing on the conver on, on the dialogue they was to to mm -hmm. from past the to tense, present. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so, would you mind, uh, would you mind like describing him, them to me so that I could probably sketch them so that we know what we're looking for, you so can, that we have yes. an idea. Mm. All right. Okay. So, in in the process of these three days, she's going to come back to you every day about, you know, until. I don't know if I need to make a roll for this, um, un but until she, she makes a very accurate detailed sketch or well mm -hmm. piece of art that that is a portrait of uh of handle mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right just to focus okay. on that yeah That's, i don't no, say were we looking no for handle i forgot all of them i believe the no, no but we we with with mara's yeah the divination we i believe for, was for, for sneak. sneaky it's sneaky. been a long time yeah. yeah sneak yeah i was i was okay yeah okay do we do we hear these Conversation between yeah. Lina and Sitch? Or... Yeah, I'm not gonna keep it a secret. It's, it's our mission. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. and... I now want to play it on an alternate campaign in which we are the, the brothers. Oh, Every yeah. Everyone was released like. MCDM. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I, don't, I, I don't know if you want to, to me for again re describe them or I can send you some pictures. Uh, yeah, one. I mean, I mean that, that's, that's Lina's conversation. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but if you want to send if you want to send me stuff, which I really want it. Um, but, uh, long story short, every uh, member of the uh, this is for the, the the public. Every member of the of the war force created for the house of uh, that uh, was created have the similar um, structure. That everyone mm -hmm. have the same face, kinda. Handle is the the only one that have a very um, rough one because it's the oldest model of um of, of all of them all of mm -hmm. of all of them uh stick is the shortest one very light sharp with uh, the um, with the uh, bow and arrow i think it's a crossbow i can't remember and bash and shield they are they are like twins they have a sword and a shield mm. so cool Mm -hmm. But so, they are very similar. The coloration is different, and the maybe the statue is different. Sitch is the biggest of the of all of them. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. I will say I will okay. say the handle. I will say the handle is maybe Gufran or Johan size. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but yeah, I can DM. send you some some stuff. With Wonderful. when when I finish that, mm -hmm. would Lena be in the capacity of being familiar with this entity to cast sending on them? Uh, post the the text of sending eventually? to to look through it. I my instinct is no. Okay. Yeah. But let's let's check the text of sending. It's short message, um, 25 words or less to a, to a creature with which I am familiar. Yeah, that's, it's, that's it's, all it the, it's the start, but you okay. would have to somehow experience Siege's memories of those creatures to become mm -hmm. familiar with them. Okay. This helps, certainly, uh, and it may help you uh, as a focus for other uh, miracles or spells, mm -hmm. but it is... Yeah, you are. It you. It's like going to a museum and you look at a really good 
portrait of somebody, but that's not enough to be familiar with that person. Okay. So it, it's a very good start. Okay. So Lena is going to immediately start working on different projects at the same time. And it's going, all right, <laughs> all right, and she's going to try to f <laughs> uh, do the math here. Anyway, mm -hmm. oh, um, no one of the, my party of that my my unit have clots. I'm the only one I have uh, that wear clots, but uh, sneaky replace most of their metal uh, um, covers by leather mm -hmm. do you do you have like good memories of them I mean I imagine so if you're looking for them I remember them okay. it's, it's like I see them okay and but did you I don't know where were you like a, f a family or did you just work together? Both. Every Warforge was created from a house. Mm -hmm. All the my unit was created from my house. They were mass produced models, but they were assigned to that unit. I was assigned to that unit. Mm -hmm. So they became my brothers. And our creator was my father mm -hmm. and that's it yeah I mean I I understand I just all right I, I just want to know a little bit more that's it Good. but uh, but if if this helps you a little bit maybe to remember other things just let me know okay thank you all right and she's going to start sketching immediately Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So with that, we reach the, the end of the second day of travel, and you see as clouds <coughs> begin to roll in from the sea, and a light rain uh, begins to fall. It's not torrential, it's not uh, particularly a bother, but clouds move in from, from the sea and begin drizzling over the air. So there's, you can maybe find one tree to take a uh, part in but what i'm interested in what does it look like on the tiny huts when rain falls on them um on lena's tiny hut it looks exactly the same except uh except on keldav's side i know keldav said he wanted nothing and there is nothing <laughs> but when keldav goes to sleep in that area there's a gold coin in there a real gold coin, or...? Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when it starts raining, uh, Kedlov will um, look at CJ and say, Hey! Yes? Need some help. Coming. And I'll, and I'll say, we need to try to watch this behemoth once in a while. And I'll, I'll try to, like, actually take a bit of a wash uh, oh. to Elgato and try to like uh, uh, just I will I provide you with the... soap uh, I'm not I don't think with soap uh, <laughs> like I, I'm, I'm thinking more like a rag and trying to get the the in, no, in between the plays beat it <laughs> do you have soap yeah yeah give me I stole them from the baron <laughs> give me the soap <laughs> <laughs> no, let's call El Gato. No, Cut it! Deliver the soap! And I'll, then I'll break the soap in two, give one half to mm -hmm. uh, to Siege, and we're trying to to clean the to sure. El Gato. El sure. Gato accepts gratefully, lies down. In fact, it's a little difficult once you finish one side to get El Gato to roll over to the other. They, they're relaxed enough that they just want to stay lying down. When ah. you end up cleaning cleaning it, uh, would it roll? Do you see the, the dogs and horses when they yeah. they roll it I, I later and you they would. mad <laughs> <laughs> and get dirty again? Yeah, a little, yeah. This, um, this night, I would like to talk with someone. 
-huh. eh, Johan would eh, approach eh, Lina, actually. Mm. Oh. Eh. You see All Lina right. still sketching a lot of different things at the same time. All right. I may have misjudged you. Like, you behave in my laboratory and you actually were pretty helpful uh, in there. So, what I want to... What were you expecting? I don't know. You, you, you turn into monkeys and, and do stuff weird. Yeah, it's fun. Look, I'm I'm <laughs> trying to apologize. Johan Blackstone. <laughs> yeah. Could I make an inside check to see if, how sincere this guy is? Go ahead. Sure. Okay. One more thing. Let me let me just check one. Are thing. we are we listening to this because? Yeah, I, I went to the to to oh. your dome. I mean, okay. and the dome is this big. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh man, I'm washing the no, dome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you you can hear no, from I outside. For, yeah, you're not that far away from. Okay. Yeah. We're, we're, I imagine we both stopped cleaning. We're like, yeah. oh. I'm here to. <laughs> It's not what? that good. It didn't. It didn't roll in roll twenty, but it's a twelve. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm going to roll, not because I'm lying, per se, mm -hmm. because I. I want to see how. How is this? How sincere you appear? Holy fuck! That's another twenty. <laughs> okay. You appear. You appear very I'm, sincere. <laughs> I, I'm going to say this to you. Is sincere. Whatever okay. is. Behind that sincerity, you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't get it. Yeah. All right. Can I, I roll mean... an insight? <laughs> yeah, sure. You can go. Sorry, I need to do this because... Yeah, I rolled a 20... Yeah, fuck you. Sorry. <laughs> you, 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 you know. <laughs> 24. The, the apology is, sin is sincere, but it's a situation of... Johan looking at Lina and and in in battle and in the laboratory and saying, "Oh fuck, she's pretty competent. I need some of that competence for my okay. things. So I need okay. to get on good standing with her." Okay. So okay. it's true. It's like, oh, yeah. I, I thought you were nothing, but you are pretty cool actually. <laughs> uh, so I have to apologize, but yeah. Uh, like I said, uh, apologize. Uh, I I went. I, I was a, a bit rude. Is like my thing here. Everyone loves me be because of that. Do they? I'm gonna look around to see their their faces. Like, do they really? If they, if they say no, they they are lying to you, and that they are pretty rude because of it. Like, why do you lie? Whatever. I heard your conversation with Siege, like I was trying to survive the heat, and mm -hmm. you said something pretty interesting. Uh, how you are with design? Like you, I, I know that you are pretty talented with uh, with the whole drawing thing, but well, who are you. you with with designing things? Designing. Like, I, I I have some stuff. Like I'm going to pull my my. Uh, a notebook and show you like I have mm -hmm. some some designs, some plans some blueprints of uh, stuff like pre pretty rustic but gets, a, gets mm. the job done oh, alright, mm. you don't have to make that face it, it's just to get you I mean, on, on yeah. the mindset yeah. uh, I, I'm going to forget the, the notebook a bit offended so, who are you with that with the stuff? Um, I don't think I've ever. I mean, I'm still kind of processing all of this, really, because. Hmm. What is the process? Is it's just a simple question. 
No, no, I, I just, uh, I just, uh, I mean, I've been, I've been, you know, watching you. You're, you're actually very, okay, I'll say this. Just because we're, we're trying to be honest here, I think you're actually very powerful, kind of an asshole. <laughs> I, I can just take all bit. of those things, I, I don't care. Oh, you don't, okay, yeah, that's, it's, that's it's really a, cool. It, I mean, it's, it's, it's all right. I mean, all right, I'll be really honest here, all right? Because you, it's not that I don't like you, right? But you created you created such a thing where you studied like it's really difficult to not get a mental image of yourself and then see the person as like oh it's it, it was real. So that's that's uh, that's a thing. But as for your question, I don't. I'll have to get into the details of things but Look, i have to tell you it's gonna be expensive because it's I, I, I don't care about commissions i'm the wizard of harkin i can pay the gold i can make the baron pay the gold for me uh second uh we are talking about uh, maybe a body for sam like i need we... some someone talented with a sleek design and maybe we can check mm. if you can do another work for me. Mm. And, and third, don't worry if you find me an asshole. I don't care. Like I say, I, I say this to you because it, it's true. Like I, I really apologize, but if you don't like me, it, it's it's all right. No, I'm it's, not I mean, some gold coin to everyone likes me. I. It's not that I don't like you. I just don't like the consequences of you. That is the thing. Um, the, the consequences of me. It, yeah. It, I mean, what think about mean think about, about it this. Think about it this way. Like when I studied at, at the Lord Guild, it was really hard for me because I just came after you, and they were like very tight on everything. You know, it was really hard for a lot of people. What do you mean? What what, what the Lord Guild here? Here's here's the thing. I don't know. Do I... If I think that if you had done things a little bit with more patience, it would have worked out so much better for a lot of other people. But it worked for me. Yeah. That's the important part. But here's the thing. It worked for you, but could it have worked better mm, I doubt it but I, I digress well I digress I agree to disagree okay like, yeah let's we don't agree have to, to disagree we don't yeah we okay we don't sure. have to look eye to eye but like I said I find you pretty talented I would like to uh, make you for of your talent and I think that's that's good all right I'm gonna have a few conf um, a few conditions. I have to think about them, but so I'll let you, you know. You have conditions, but do you don't know the yes. conditions? That yes, make... I have to think about them because I want to be fair. All right, all right. Hey, I just want I'm to say. I'm not saying this. no. I'm not saying no. Yeah, all right. Okay. Sam is going to be devastated by by the news, but. No, actually, I need to talk to Sam about drawing us. Oh my god, I have to teach how to draw so many people in this group. It's crazy. Um, ah, all right. I'm let's... going to leave you to that. I need to work on some kind of extra dimensional space thingy. You know, pretty standard stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, goodbye. Uh, no, wait, wait a, yeah. wait a little second. All right, sure. And. She is going to go to the back pocket of her journal and she's going to hand you um, a sketch of you. And that is going to complete the uh, the Bardic Inspiration series. What? The first series. Give the us second. the art. Give us the art. Yeah, I don't I don't have it on it, roll twenty. I'll put it on it, Well I have two loaded awesome. up so i want to know which is so it's um uh, okay uh, it's it's uh i have a lot of series guys by the way um <laughs> it's the chibi 
<laughs> Holy shit. I mean, you, yeah, you've already seen it, player. You've already seen it. Uh, no, uh, not that one. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I, I need to send that to my. If it's the two, um, I believe. Yeah, I, I need to find it because, oh, I'm excited yet right now. I'm looking for it. Okay, but you, you've seen it. Um, I'll, I'll put it in turn a little bit. I believe it's now in work. Is it that one? Oh, there you go. That's it. I'm going to grab it and look at it. And, and say to myself, so like, in a low so voice, good. a bit of flattering. I mean, the nose is such a bit. Well, that was the first day. <laughs> that was the first day. So... My, my nose shrunk during the days? No. <laughs> Actually, okay. I'm still studying everyone, but you're the you're like the most and please don't take this as a full compliment But just as an artist perspective, you're the most facially interesting here Because you have so many angles. Yeah, Yay. it's really weird <laughs> I think I'm, I'm liking you more by the minute that, That's thank that's you. A I mean, really good compliment Good to, that you see it all right. Well, if 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 we continue to have like these friendly interactions, maybe there's going to be some more of this. Hey. In in the spirit of peace between us, what about we combine the domes just tonight? Do you mean like side to side, one on the one at the top or one of the like? Do like you want to do it, the make full it, circle make, thing? Make the, make the area bigger. It's could just we to make dumb the colliding. area bigger? Yeah. I mean, DM, could we make the area bigger? Sure, I'll allow it. Okay. <laughs> right, you sure. let me know... It's like if, a if it, Yeah. You let me know how it looks if there's a clear boundary where it shifts from colorful to straight gray <laughs> or fucking nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lina is going to continue trying to push to uh, to Johan's side a little bit more. I... All right. Yeah. So. But just a little bit. Peace between us. E everyone is cool. You can hate me. I don't care. I'm going no, to go, I go don't back. I hate you. Dry your stuff. Uh, I'm going to work on Keldaf stuff, and maybe we can design a body. For someone, someday. Wait, what do you mean for for Sam? Do you mean? Uh, I mean, I mean the body is for Sam, but then maybe I want a body for myself. Like it's Why? not a secret. Uh, uh, Keldav asked me in the laboratory, "Hey, do you want to do something?" And he said, "Yeah, I want to make a body for myself and be immortal." Or something why like do that. you why do you want to make a, a body for yourself if you want you have one? And second, there's another one of you outside. Somewhere. Why there do you is want no more one. bodies? That, that, that body died. I am here now. Like, do you want to? Do you want to make it like an army of yourself? Is that is? Oh, that would be awesome. Oh shit! Why did it say that? Okay. <laughs> Don't give him ideas. What is better than one me? The two me. But is this I going? Digress. Is this I, I, going to be the ending of Shingotila? <laughs> Basically, <laughs> look, I, I'm trying to make a immortal body down the line, and I'm considering something like siege. So maybe down the line, I'm going to ask you, hey, help me design this. I'm thinking because I'm trying to pay attention to how what do I present myself to the rest of the people, like some kind of PR that uh, Keldaf said to me. Some time ago. Okay. So I want it to look cool. I mean, if you wanna, if you wanna think about outfits, yeah, I can do that. Yeah. So as soon emote. as I, I, as I grasp the concept of the soul and how to steal someone's body and help my, my soul to other people. Wow. I'm, I'm going to need that body. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you want an immortal body? That is. I mean, have you thought? Have you thought about what happens if you live forever? I have all the time to, of the world for me. For to do what essentially? I mean everything. Everything I want, I can do it. Okay, and then what? 
I do everything. And then what? Uh, of course, if if you are going to reduce it like that, and, and what and what and what, <laughs> what, you you can go forever. Like, why I mean, do you draw? Because it's, I mean, yeah, point taken. It's ah, fun to make stuff, right? Yeah. But, I mean, eventually you're gonna make all the stuff, and what then? I, I make more stuff. Like, come on, come on, guys. <laughs> You are all here in this. Don't don't hide. So you're going to be Bind me up on this. You're going to be extruding <laughs> stuff just forever. Yeah. I am very glad that I have enough time to learn everything. Yeah. I'm glad. It's a I, I, I will give. I will be glad if I have Johan all the time. Yeah. More of me. Wait. Everyone needs more of me. <laughs> Wait, more of you? Like two? Like three? Oh, I mean, she she brought out the idea. I think more of me could be kind of cool. No, I mean, fuck no. no. One no. one is enough. Yeah. Okay, yeah. One me, one me. <laughs> and I'm going to wink at at Sitch. <laughs> <laughs> I will turn off one eye. <laughs> so everyone so bored on this like like i said I, I don't have any kind of secrets right now i i told um, you everything can we all make um i, I, um, I, I think uh, uh, an insight insight, insight. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> no. Oh, what? Since Lina asked for Johan something, um, uh, a cambio, sorry, mm -hmm. for an exchange. Of, yeah. An exchange. So, can we all add something to that list, maybe? To, to what? I would love to hear that. Yes. Yes, I have some suggestions. Let's make a list of conditions. Okay, condition number yeah. one none of us, no one can get hurt. About what? Okay. About are, are anything. Are we stipulating conditions? About you anything. Helping like, me? You, okay, mortality? first of all, you're going to promise that you're not going to take anyone's spleen or you're not going to, I don't know, get somebody's I'm not food. touching your bodies or your souls. Okay, good. Condition number one met. Condition number two. Um, ask Or before. sacrifice a lot of people you hear from the background. Yeah, but, and, that is, and that is uh, the wait, thing. Wait, wait, like, wait, 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 wait. Or but turn if the into a bad. demon. Okay, that's number three. Number okay, two, again, maybe give us... Genocide is not good. <laughs> <laughs> but if the people but... is bad. I, and you, and you hear again, you genocide know? is not good. <laughs> but the, I, in example, the Iron Circle was pretty bad. And we didn't genocide them. No, it we was killed war. We killed a lot of them. But yes, that was war. in war, not a genocide. So if we, if we kill a lot of people we in war, willing, you said does that to count? Me. You said to me, willing, you, that you were going to look for someone, something, and it was going to some, be someone willing to give you their body or soul, or I don't know about the but, soul, but... Um, yeah, I, 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 all right, I, I think we are getting messy here. Let's run about some scenarios. <laughs> we find a evil mastermind uh, douchebag number one. Okay. Right? Hi. Evil mastermind douchebag number one is going to that. fucking die because we found them and we said, oh, you are not doing that. And we fucking <laughs> punch him in the face. We did that. And <laughs> he's down. He's down. Okay. He's going to die. And that's and the body you want to use? Ca can I use the, that body? Sure. Yes, again. I mean, I mean all right. So, yeah, if in the quest if you, if you of my ask... immortal body, I get to the conclusion that I need maybe a lot of sacrifices. So, so dull when you say that like that. But <laughs> let's say I need a lot of sacrifices <laughs> to make my immortal body. <laughs> but uh, the sacrifices are really bad people. Again, we don't kill for the sake of killing in the sense of, again, and I think I speak 
in, in behalf of the group. If we are having an active combat, combat, I understand that. Defensive, being defensive and attacking in a defensive manner, it's okay. But if you are trying to be offensive in battle, again, if you're the aggressor, that changes things. All so, right. so, if it happens to coincide that we're in a battle and someone dies and you want to use the remains, to be honest, I really don't give a fuck. If everyone's but, agreed with Keldov on that part. No, that, that part, no, that part, I, that's my opinion. Not, no, no, I no, no, no. That... Because, because you go further. Uh, before you go further, uh, everyone agrees on Keldov on that part. I don't know. I believe it's a case by case basis. You yes, could negotiate you. after every battle. That yeah. I agree. And also, this ask is too, it's before... too near for me to necromancy for my taste. Uh... I... Look, I don't want necromancy. I don't want it. I, I would like to turn chose my... me. <laughs> I would like to turn it in a more interesting matters. Like, I don't know. Alchemy. The secrets of the universe. Time, space. All the stuff. But I need first my mortal body. So I can spend all the time doing this. Alright. Well, my condition number two is that you give us a heads up. Like, if you're, if you're going to make an explosion, let us know that there's going to be an explosion so that we know... You know. Always. I mean, like I need you alive. The... Yeah, but we 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 can't. I mean, at least I would love to know. Like, hey, oh. I'm going to, I'm going to send a okay. fireball on all these guys. What about a kind of signal? Like, I, I guess exactly. we are like a team. Maybe we, whatever we should start. Whatever is good for you. Okay, I'm going to do a face when you what see face? me do it. This. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start sketching immediately. <laughs> it's because I'm I'm going to do uh, something. All right, and that is bad for everyone. Actually, I want to hear Mara. You like, often wear a opinion. mask in combat. Don't say them that. I, I'm going to try to lay off on the mask during combat, so you can see the. This is right. like constipation or something. Like that. <laughs> It has to be like something, one, like natural, that like I can make it, but natural enough that the enemy doesn't, doesn't suspect it. Maybe something is hurting, maybe I'm constipated, who knows? Like, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, after after a conversation like five days ago, yeah, buddy, you must be. Um, what, what do you mean about that? You <laughs> told me that you never pop a how, how I, I, it's not like I never poop. I say to you, I don't like pooping. <laughs> and you like so much food, like, of course you're going to poop. I try to avoid that. Just eat the necessary to make the optimal poop. <laughs> optimal poop is one of my, f like, that's the best catchphrase <laughs> I've heard in a while. I want that in a t-shirt. I eat enough for the optimal poop. <laughs> I think with this, we just lost our, our followers. Our yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah. What, what our followers have to remember is that there is an ion stone orbiting around <laughs> Johan's head. That yeah. means that he doesn't have to eat. Yeah. Also, viewers, if you don't stay, we're not doing another MCDM video, okay? <laughs> so fucking stay. I'm watching you. Captive okay. Alex. <laughs> Again, uh, Goofer and Mara, I really want to hear what you, what's your take on this, because I, I don't have a lot of qualms with a lot of this. I think you've spoken with a lot of wisdom, as far as I can tell. Although, I think what Sam said is probably my opinion that it has to be considered on a case case by case basis. I can work with that. Also, I know you're gonna say no, but it may come a time, Johan, in which you regret 
that you will live forever. There are stories where I come from of people who wanted that very badly and then ended up not liking it. Eh, that sounds people like they don't have hobbies. <laughs> they don't have what? Hobbies. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the who problem knows? with immortality is hobbies. Oh, yeah. yeah, cool. Like, I have one fight. That's a very dangerous hobby. I was made for this. Okay, I I think this can this can be a totally separate conversation. And hobbies, by the way, drawing classes are totally on the table. If anyone wants to take them, yeah, man, I'm looking at you. Uh, <laughs> Also, one thing that you do need to know, very important, I am working here. So, everything I learn, everything I see, everything has to be, I have to document everything. I How have to take notes of everything. You're a spy. <laughs> I'm not a spy. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Damn, you're good. <laughs> I'm, I mean, thank you, I know. But Don't also, take it as yeah, a compliment. You. You're a spy. I'll, look, I'll take You'll whatever. Your trust. I'll, I'll take. I'll take whatever comes from you like that, and it's yeah, it's a chef's kiss. But <laughs> you need to remember that <laughs> ah, everything, fuck. everything you find, I will know. Everything you see, I will see. But do I'll you have notes. to report them? Because I, I know. It's my I know. job. I, I, but I know that the. Everyone at the lower guild, as soon as they know, they're going to say, Oh, we have to stop this guy. And I don't like being stopped. Well, it depends on you how long it takes you. But also remember that you're also going to get something from it. Resources. I don't like you. I despise <laughs> those bastards. They keep I mean, me out. They don't want to share their knowledge. They want them for me. I mean, I'm not going to protect all of them either. There are assholes, of course. So, But, you know, there are some people that I actually like there. Actually, that's a good question. Uh, you, you are saying that you are pledging your dying lo loyalty to me and killed me in this endeavor. No. <laughs> That's what but I care. That's sure. what I care. Yeah, I know. Um, we should draw a contract, you know. <laughs> are, are you? <laughs> what? I, I don't know anything about contract. Maybe Kilda knows, but yeah. I, I think that you like to do, change do you, words. Is, is this a crossover with Acru? Are, are we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, like, I was actually thinking. <laughs> yeah. Why, why is this? Is this actually <laughs> this is so familiar to me? So familiar. Yeah. Wait, what so happened? So I have an idea. So somewhere, I respect you. I some, like you a lot. Somewhere, really a bad bear is getting a very big head. At? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mara, dear, I love you. I respect you. I like you. You do? Yeah. I, I mean, and you're she annoying. Right? That, that's an inside check for me. Yeah, that's me <laughs> too. Because uh, what? Does does that's he 20, capable of love? Twenty three for me. I'm too really surprised by this. Yeah, it, it's true. Oh, <laughs> I, I I don't going to do a inside check, but uh, Kelda will me see uh, green eyes for siege. Oh. Uh, but do you really think I'm going to obey a contract? Mm -mm. I'm, I'm okay, but there's actually I have a question because I, uh, I mean I know a lot. I know nothing about magic. I mean I know m about no, magic, but not the specifics. <laughs> you, you don't know about magic, Kelda. <laughs> don't worry. I know, I know, but I have a question though. I have heard of magical contracts. Yeah, that's true. Why do you think yeah. I'm going to sign that magical contract? Like, I'm so kind of idiot. I mean, I only said it because to protect Lina and she's going to participate in this job and 
I, I, I maybe she doesn't, everyone she is doesn't participating. have any legal like, binding. Everyone is going to help me. Yeah, no, but you're I'm, just not gonna talk, only... I'm not going to talk with the guild about your ambitions. I really don't give a fuck. Ah, you say a contract for Lina, so she don't send rat me. No. Out I'm going to, to, pro to protect Lina. If you turn to an evil fucker, she is protected <laughs> from any liability or whatever it happens later. Oh, I like that. I don't I I don't know if I like and that. And I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> like what do you think I'm going to kill Lina if I no, take my gold? No, no. Other people. Do, do you take me for a murderer's fucker like I'm just <laughs> going down <laughs> killing people? I think yeah, that I mean, in order to justify your research, you're going to look for the little little tiny um, text and find a loophole to do so whatever the, you so, want to do. So the contract is useless. <laughs> That's no. what you say. <laughs> no, uh, it's for if anybody else comes to look for Lina uh, and for participating for look, this, she's going to. Ha hand on my heart. I'm, I'm racing like I'm not evil. Right? No. Now, that's the thing, now. I, I, I was never evil. No, mm. in the future. No, no. I, I, in the future. I'm doing this for the better of the world. Look. Fuck See? no. Okay, no, that is a lie. You're doing this for you. If you recognize that, we can talk. But what is the best for me? That... It's the best for the world. No, fuck no. That's no, absolutely a lie. Oh, okay, let me backtrack. I, I see I'm losing you <laughs> with that place. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, <laughs> what I contribute to the world is the best for the world. There. No. No, let me backtrack again. No, <laughs> it's too general. <laughs> it's too general. Okay, fuck there. it. This is something I want. Okay, that is more respectable, my dude. So, we cool? Yeah, I mean, behave and we cool. I I'm behaving. It's I, really... Yeah, you are. So like, no I, mass I, killing. I haven't done anything weird. So no mass killings, no only voluntary or evil bodies. Mm -hmm. and, um... and that's it. I like it. For I... now. For now. For now, yeah. <laughs> More <laughs> conditions later. But also, how do you plan to fit a 25 kilogram, I don't know, a stomach into a, a, a man's person? What? Uh, uh, Point is, what? if you if you are gonna take parts, please make them at least that that they make sense that they are like a body and not like a mix of different things. Ah, no. If if I I'm constructing a new body, I'm I, I'm I'm ditching the whole organic thing, like I said, something like it. If I go for something organic, maybe I double on the whole demonic and devilish thing. No, Sitch is going to cut my head if I try to. That's the so mess. I, maybe yeah. I, I maybe I do it, but behind his back. And that is more transforming than putting together. Let's help <laughs> Johan change the body closest to Siege. I, I think that have, is a good... I have an idea. Okay. If we found the, fa the, the factory, the laboratory that we were created, maybe there are some bodies, some hmm. empty soldiers there. You can use them. Oh. Okay, she's giving kill... me permission. That would not kill anybody. Actually, yeah, it's kind of cool. That, that would be a compromise, I think. I, I'm trying to improve the design. Like I said, first I need to get my soul to do the body snatch thing. Because mm. I, before I'm... That's a good point. I believe I can't do that. Yes, but you later I go... <clears throat> The body's going to decay. My body? Whatever bodies you're going to steal. 
It's going to decay. Yeah, it, it is just like before I get my perfect body. Ah, okay. Like just a testing, a test, a test run. I say, oh yeah, I can totally hop on another and another body, and then when I get my perfect body, I hop onto that, and then I'm immortal. You are friends with an immortal. I get you all the things you want, and then you all die, and I stay eternally on time. Except Siege. He's eternal too. Yay. <laughs> are we cool? Sorry. Um, for now. I mean, for now. For now. Yeah. Productive conversation. I love it. Off All right, game. so use your inspiration. Off game. Uh, mm -hmm. Why I'm thinking of the movie Shappy? Shoppy? Yes, it, dude. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what the fuck that is. Okay. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I, I do know what it is, but I you... haven't watched it, and now I'm thinking I missed something in the ending. It's uh -huh. really good. The ending. It's it's really good. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm seeing like a poster with a, a robot yeah. and two yeah. dudes. Yep. Watch, mm -hmm. the, watch I, it. Watch it. Yeah. I, I don't know uh, what it is. No, I was this thinking is... like Despicable Me when Johan was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, another movie that we must watch. <laughs> but that's because I've watched too many times Despicable Me with my niece. So it's not... Maybe that it's just, you know, at the forefront of my <clears throat> mind. Which is different. Um, Wonderful. So, yeah. So, good conversation all around. Yes. Keep cleaning the gato. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to work now, mm -hmm. and I leave. I will say I leave to, to the to outside and make the dome slightly mm -hmm. connected so everyone can wander and we have more space. I will say to kill that that's not productive. Do you think? Well, it's not. What did we produce? Understanding. I not. actually don't understand him at all. He just said he loved Mara, and I think it was true. What the fuck is happening with this dude? And I you know, know you know him true. more than you know. So I'm you not saying be it's can... bad. I'm saying I don't understand him. I think I understand him less. I mean, it's not a bad thing. I'm just like, what the fuck's happening? You know, I can hear you, right? Yes. I know, my dude. Uh, yeah. I am talking loudly, and we are in we, a close quarters. We all have feelings. Sometimes they creep other people out. It happens. I mean, no, oh, I did. It's all not right. that. I, I, all right, I'm no, going no, to no. shut the fuck up from now. No, 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 fuck no, you. no, no, I, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I just said I said I don't understand him. I didn't say I thought it was he creepy. Can't I said. Take it back. Oh. No, I it's, said it's I didn't it's understand. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> no, you cannot take no, it back. You, you can't. can't. You don't get shit you if you it take it back. Sincerely. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Mara! Your Romita sucks. <laughs> okay, Sis is standing up, grabbing his axe. <laughs> <laughs> Mara only said, I love you too, Johan. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I hate this group. <laughs> I love this girl. Love You're this here girl. in the corner. <laughs> All right. Oh. Okay, now I'm confused. Fuck, again. that was good. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel is dying. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my cheeks hurt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Me too. I've, I, I have two kinds of stomach aches now. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Oh. Yeah. Uh. So with that, I think. Oh boy. The, this night comes to an end. Okay. Do we get a, uh, a long rest? By the way, right? what, what do I have to roll to uh, modify the the thing uh, before? I C can I carry the arcana yeah. before? Yeah, uh, I it's you have plenty of time to take a look at it. It's an interesting extra planar pocket because it doesn't have multiple openings that are each tied to separate. Uh, spaces it is a single opening and it is in the the choice the of the user which one they reach into so you realize the fact that how many it has 
and what separates those different pockets is built into the item and you could modify that you could have it be instead of three you could distribute distribute that amount of space into eight different ones or however many it's just the more you subdivide the the smaller mm -hmm. you, you have a fixed amount of space that you're subdividing but you could yeah you could probably get eight or ten different pockets and it would just be up to Keldav to remember what is in each one. That's and what then, you want? Yeah. Uh, you you, you can configure it, yeah. what is in each pocket and then as Keldav is putting the items away into each pocket he has to know into what pocket he's placing yeah. it and keep track of that in his mind. And yeah, you, you know how Keldav's mind works? He could do that. All right. So I'm going to modify the quiver to do that. And mm -hmm. as I'm doing it, I'm thinking on adding like a 1% to a pocket to grab from another pocket just to mess with Kelda. But after the conversation from today, I'm going to abstain myself. <laughs> eh, that might kill him. And that <laughs> it isn't fun anymore. So I guess I'm not going to do it. <laughs> okay. That's called character so, growth. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Later, the two of you can talk as to how you subdivide them if you make them all arrow shaped, arrow sized, or if you want some yeah, pockets fuck, to fuck remain the bigger. No one used this. <laughs> no, yeah, fuck the javelins. <laughs> fuck the quarter stuff too. Like, I mean, just a place for the bow. I, I can put, no, I can put, no, I can put um, different bows. Like if, oh. if I find different bows, I can use that for different bows. I, I like that. Two months later, okay, hey, so, Kaldav, give so, me like a travel in. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I'm gonna, no, by the way, I'm going to tell Siege, Siege, yes. here are your javelins. Like, not now. When this is over, yeah. I'm like, Siege, this is yours. All right, Kaldav, <laughs> uh, here you have uh, uh, the thingy. Uh, with this, maybe you are less one note in combat. Like, maybe you can spice it up. Uh, Lina said that she has some uh, art class now, like she's willing to teach. Uh, maybe I can teach you how to make explosives. Actually, I kind of like that idea. Yeah, I understand the basics, and I can. I'll. I'll tell you what I know, and you say like you know nothing, motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, I think you are the only one here that is going to be interested in in, in that. Or, yeah, actually, I do. Or, or at least at my level, to I can teach you and speak you like a normal person, and I have to use like dumb down concepts. I mean, I hope I hope you don't need to d dumb down concepts. Maybe I do. Maybe I. Do. I hope you don't. But yeah, maybe I can help you make some interesting arrows and you do your stuff and feel cool. Yeah, and if you need to express yourself differently, remember that you, I can help you with that. Why? I offered help months ago and you, can, you still have it. Good talk. I'm going to pat you on the back and say, see? A better man of the world! That's me! <laughs> <laughs> and, and you see literally the, the 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 signature move when we talk, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you the the ne the next day, the last day of travel, uh full travel that you have left. Uh now you are mostly in rolling hills and plains and you begin to see not paths necessarily but there are places where animals have uh, passed enough to to trample some of the grass and create uh, small trails and you spot in the distance coming from the mountains south of you you see a clear path that has been not necessarily paved but uh, gone through enough that it's clear to you uh, in the distance and you realize that most of the transit of, of goods in to, from the sea in this inlet 
where the town of Bergport uh, is located, then moves further into the mountains, and you realize it's it's a port that is useful to the Dwarven kingdoms, because the sea ends fairly close to to these mountains to the south of you, and it's a matter of half a day to a day's journey from that port into their mountains, and they can get access to to goods coming uh, along the sea. Uh, Daniel, uh, Siege mm -hmm. from now on will cover himself. Uh, where the cap, the, the the cape over his um, his uh, himself body. and uh, over his the body, hood. and use the the hood. So okay. um, there is a lot of uh, hill dwarfs here, like in all this place, really. Uh, I, I I stayed here like maybe two weeks, three weeks, maybe a month. So I I know. Some places I know some people maybe. Mm -hmm. That's good. The the guy that found Is me. That good? Uh, will they like? Will I we, made we, them? We. I made them a, a really fucking great. They liked it. They That's say, the "Oh, maybe you should go to the Lord. You look like someone that knows a lot." And they say, hey, "Yeah, I know all the things." And I went to the Lord. But yeah, the, the guy that found me uh, lives here. Somewhere. Oh. Hmm. What, what was his name? His name, man. Oh, it's... I'm really Hendrick bad with names. I, I, I'm barely, I can barely remember yours. Um, <laughs> Hendrik... In Cruyff. No, I know. I'm, I'm just that thing. Yeah. I, I have the notes okay. here. <laughs> In the background, Lena is going to use her actor feet and she's going to do uh, Johan's voice. And I love you, good love. Okay. Stop that. <laughs> oh, anyway, no. I am very tempted to do the same. <laughs> uh, Hendrik is here and. Maybe he can guide us to rent a boat. Buy a boat? I think we can buy a boat, right? Gally. Let's see. M maybe we don't buy a boat, and maybe we just uh, yeah, I... hop in a big sh ship. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I don't want to buy a boat. Actually, I need the money. Yeah. We can rent it yeah, and modify it again. No, never, I am not going to do give it that back. again. That sounds awesome. Can I have we my did, laboratory? I did have to pay that. Did you? Why? Do any yes. of you know how to sail? No. Do we? How hard can it no. be? Do you have a boat? Do we do we get like to roll something? No. Do you have a boat? Maybe I sail by the lake. I believe it's, there, it's a proficiency, which it's is like... It's a proficiency like, like, Yeah, there's one which is land maybe? vehicles, and yeah. there's another which is, I think... Uh, no. Water vehicles. Yeah. No, Water vehicles, I have land. Yeah. No sailors um, here. Nope. No, I. <laughs> How hard can it be? Like you, it's it's wind based. Like you have sails, and you move. Like I understand the concepts. Just do no. it. Please don't say that to this to the sailors, please. Oh, I I said it, and they punched me. Uh, they didn't like it. <laughs> but I'm saying this let's, to you. Let's like, go. They, they, let's they go like to, to act Hendrick's like house. they are important, but they are not. Mm. Let's go to Hendrik's house. And with that, yeah, we move on to the map that I spent quite a bit of time creating. Yay. Ooh, Yay. Finally! Map. Finally! I don't see anything. <laughs> I can't see anything. Yet. It's black. And that's the end oh, of the campaign. Oh, no. <laughs> you entered the void. It's yeah. the abyss. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa, that's, very that's cool. Good. That's cool. Yes. As you arrive. Why, why am I I'm surprised? You show me this. Yes. <laughs> it's like, wow. It's pretty cool. It's like, no, I mean, not a, you're, you're, you're very good at role playing. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> you're yeah. role playing your reaction. 
It's amazing. Wow. Yes. Congrats. Thank you. Looks so really cool. it it's mm. a a large village, uh, not mm. quite a city. It, as you approach it, you see there are many uh, steadings that are uh, outside of it, where there's crops and farms. You see herds of sheep uh, moving in. You arrive, let's call it around noon, so shortly before lunch, uh, and you see there are some ships uh, out at sea and smaller boats docked. And I'll change the oh music. my god, I'm hungry. Maybe they have like, this pescado frito. I heard <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Do halflings live here, your people? Do they live by the sea? I, I, I don't yeah. remember seeing much halflings. I mean, I've years. been in vacations near here, not here, but... It's mostly humans that you see. Uh, you, there are some hill dwarves, as uh, Johan had mentioned. Uh, and you see as you approach up on a hill that rises up and ends in some cliffs, there are... Uh, heavier stone construction that is more in a, in a dwarven style. Um, you probably spot the occasional halfling, like moving. It doesn't seem to be a, a large community, but presumably some live here or are, are part of the crews of the ships that are. Is this docked. a sand beach, or? Yeah, stone? Uh, the the beach is sandy. There are some rocks, but it's mostly. It's not very, very fine sand. It tends to clump, but yeah, it's it's not sharp rocks uh, like we have in some parts of our country. All right, um, I I'm going to try to give you guidance. Uh, this is a fishing town, fishing port. They like fish. That's that. Fish. Um, there is a guy that found me that lives there, and I'm going to point to the east from where are, uh, we are arriving mm -hmm. and people here are really boring like what what can i say uh, they talk about oh i catch this fish and i cut that fish and i got this fish and i cut that and in some tap house from there and yeah fish uh, when we go when we go near the city uh was that the town do I see any um thieves can't any symbols any message any anything I can recognize I don't think you do uh there are no markings of thieves can't and you gather there is no thieves guild present here in the city okay. you do see some uh parts of the town that are more run down where you think there might be some former criminal element you spot there is a large amount of warehouses and the uh, the the flow of goods and and wealth you gather is ships arrive there is some trade here and then it mostly flows south along the road which is where you guys arrive mm -hmm. uh, and goes into the the mountain so mm -hmm. If you, you gather, if there is a criminal element, it's either in the ships themselves, and they just come mm -hmm. here and then take time and then they leave, uh, or it's something tied to however the criminal organization works in the Dwarven Kingdoms, which you're not sure of. There. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll, I'll be when we're in town. I'll I'll be looking for any any sign of thieves um, or or even the boats. I'm mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna be looking for that, just Makes to sense. avoid them more than yeah. to anything. Those with are it. the best. Where it's, uh, you don't know this, and we're in a job. No, I'm <laughs> saying this like oh, oh sort of character. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Johan already decreed this town is boring. <laughs> when I am a god, I, it shall be obliterated. No, 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 not obliterated. Just everyone knows this town is boring. So you're, you're welcome to surprise me, like finding a thief's guild and and underground <laughs> links. Like that sounds cool. 
Maybe we can but, go to this. But wait, aren't bar, we? Go, uh, were we going bar. to Hendrix's home or? No, 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 no. You, no. Uh, you, you can head to Hendrix's uh, home, which is somewhat outside uh, the town, or you can head in. There is a inn and tap room uh, here at the. So in okay. the market well, whatever you guys want i i thought we were going to hendrix's home that, that's all look i i'm starting to really like wine and fancy stuff and we were just riding in the middle of the heat like a lot so maybe okay. i can i can do with some something to drink all good what what with the faces mara i'm just in shock you, help, I, you I, could have told me this before. I can make a killing pisco sour. It's really good for the food. I can. You don't understand. I, I don't like. Carry with me some I, pisco. I don't like. We can do it right now. I don't like the wine itself. I like the <laughs> what the wine represents and makes to my looks. Like when you have a goblet of wine in your hand and you are sitting down, like you don't care and own the place. People see you and say. Wow, that guy looks cool and owns the place. That's really cool. I hate you. This yeah. is not Kelda. This is Diego. I hate you. <laughs> I, I, I truly despise what you just said. Like you, you just said something that like is revolting. It's for just me. sound like a teenager. What are you talking about? <laughs> like I'm going to smoke. I look cool. I'm going to. It's <laughs> not what people do. <laughs> like, this. Cool. like, do you want to be inebriated? Like, is All that a thing you, you crave? All the time. <laughs> I mean, why? If we you are, are less confident. Yes. You are doing and you look awful. You get all red and you look. Why? Why do you do this to yourself? Love yourself, Mara. Love yes. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Alejandro, you're on fire today. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. You were really wanting to play this. I can yeah. tell. Yeah. I, can tell. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> so, yeah, you make your way further into town. Uh, you pass uh, some of the uh, homes where uh, that are slightly more run down. There is an area that seems to be mostly warehouses close to the docks. Uh, some parts that have uh, sheep pens and there's the smell of uh, places that keep animals and then you reach uh, an area of the of the town that is slightly cleaner the houses have more stories and are painted and, and kept clean you as you're approaching the market and you see the large uh, three-story that inn and uh, tavern you pass the general store uh, can be a point where you can get the usual amount of adventuring uh, equipment. Uh, I think, Keldav, you immediately clock that uh, the tower uh, in front of you is where some of the town watch uh, is is posted, and you see there is a, a figure moving in, in the top uh, level and keeping an eye on you. There's no sign that they're like in any way hostile, but you gather if they had to, they could use the narrow windows to take cover and, and yeah. fire crossbows or bows from, from within. Okay. Uh, uh, one there is question, a... though. Mm -hmm. uh, is everybody freaking out because of our mount? Uh, there is a lot of people that move out of the way. <laughs> as you see, okay. there's a moment where Penelope doesn't seem to draw much attention, but it, the eyes are immediately drawn to El Gato and people... I, move out of the way you see as some of the sheep moved all the way and hid in a corner of their pen as far away from you as you were passing mm -hmm. uh, and the yeah the people on the street it wasn't very crowded it's at this time of day it seems that uh, there isn't a lot of, of foot traffic but you hear particularly with your high perception some shutters like opening after you pass and people look uh, to see what what you're up to and this is very much, yeah, a town different from Hammerfest and even in some ways Falkrest. Your group is very eclectic coming through here. Like, if they get adventurers, they're the seafaring type, which rarely have yeah. mounts the way you do. Like, 
swaggering sailors that come in with their fancy ship, but the ship stays on the water? Like it doesn't walk into the center of town? <laughs> uh, if anyone is looking at the at the party, see she will uh, look at uh, around. And if someone uh, look at Sid, they will see only the black face with the two bright white uh, lights. Yeah. Uh, as you guys reach that intersection, uh, that is where you can see the market green to the north of you, the large, uh, possibly the largest building in the town, which is the the inn and the watchtower. Uh, from the ta from the small, uh, sorry, not the small, from the medium to large house to the left of you, you see a a uh, middle-aged man uh, come out, slightly balding uh, at the top, brown hair, cut in a bit of a bowl cut, sort of come come out the door, see you, and he looks up at the watchtower and sees that they're not, there's no like sign of alert, there's no bells ringing, and then he yells at you basically like from the window and goes, Ex excuse me, who, why, um, <clears throat> and he he like comports himself. He he steps forward and goes, "I am Alderman Thomas Lackman. Who are you? Who are talking to the party in general? He, he he's not very close to you. He like took two steps out of his door to like be clearly standing and be seen to be standing in front of you, but Thomas he's still what? twenty meters away from you. And he Thomas he what? spoke out quite loudly. Lackman. Thomas Lackman." Lackman. Alderman Thomas Lackman. Good morning, Alderman Lackman. We are a group of adventurers on our way to... We're looking for a ship to cross the sea and get to the east. We're on a mission. We are the heroes of Harken, if you, in case you have heard of us. We heard the I mean, Baron recover. You, you, the... you, you can say that I am the master of the crane. Like, I did that thing. I'm kind of a hero here, too. Master of the crane? Well, uh, we have with us um, the master of the crane, um, Johan Ooh. Blackstone. Harken. I, I don't know Hark. Is, are you the Jansen boy? The. Boy? Yeah, you. Oh! Who? <laughs> uh, Alright. This place sucks. What, what do you. <laughs> yes, yes, you. Oh, you went to the 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 dwarf Hammerfast. Yes, G great. Um, he looks around expecting dwarves and doesn't see any. He goes, "Why are you back? The crane broke. Can you fix it?" What? Not now. Like after you I mean... say to me, like. No, 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 I need, no, no. I need some respect here. Like, put some respect on my name. You don't need anything. You don't. You don't need anything. Just help. Yeah. Say yes, boy. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Just. All right. All right. I, I'm going to do it, but I want you to get the best chip that you can find, and know that me is for the better for the world. He's the better man of the world having no, no, the, the, sec the second the second one I'm, I'm just no I I if you do this we are gonna be in good standing with the elder man and he will help us find the ship so just do it it's gonna be cheaper all right you are talking with the wizard of Harken Johan Blackstone not oh. your boy and I'm going to fix and improve your crane so you can do your fishing-related activities more efficiently. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, we mostly use it to um, bring up the ice. Don't just... Um, I, no, I'm just... Don't worry. He's going to fix it. Uh, hi. And I'll, I'll get down Elgato, and you see Elgato just, just laying on the ground. Huh. Um... Hi, I'm, I'm Keldov. Uh, we just, we're passing through. He, we're not, he's not back here. We just, uh, this is the closest port town from Harkin. We were in Harkin before. Oh, well, where is I, that? Is, it, is that, is that near Hammerfast? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's beyond. Okay. It's a, a bit to the west. Um, so we were in Har in Harkin. Uh, we 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 were named the heroes of Harkin. Don't worry, it's something from another uh, other time. If you want to hear the tales, we will be on the inn. And if you, <laughs> you can buy take the video. drinks, if if you know if if you fi if you buy drinks for the party, especially for her, and I point to Mara, that's it. We can. Uh, regale you with the with the tales, but before that, if he fi helps with the crane, we need to find the best ship that's gonna cross the ocean to. And I forget the name. Oh. Diego forgets the name. Caleb doesn't. The fastest. The other continent. Yes. Yeah, Silduria. Uh, uh, Silduria. Yeah. Yeah. Silduria. Oh. Sorry. All right. Well, there aren't that many passenger ships here. Um, you look like a fearsome bunch. You could um, thank you. Get on one of them, the whaling ships, the um, monster hunter types. Uh, yeah. yeah. They don't usually head all the way to Silduria. I, I, Maybe we can you know, rent a whole ship for the trip. I mean, that yeah, would be expensive. Good. Um, well, you probably much, want how much, to. How much um, would do you think it would? Expensive, he says. <laughs> so, we don't know. How expensive? How much do you say, which... Are you gonna be carrying that? And he points to Elgato. I mean, yes. yeah. He can fly. But... He's very domesticated. Oh, five or six thousand gold. I, I mean, that's most of the hold of a, and the food. I mean, how many sheep does that guy? Is that thing gonna? I mean, we're in the sea. We, can we get fish and shit Sailors. like that? What? I don't I mean, eat yeah, I'm you not could, there. I'm you could, 20 you, meters um, away. <laughs> How much uh, money yeah, do um, we have? Uh, a large... Most of the of the bigger ships, they don't, they don't uh, lay down nets. Those tend to be smaller. I'm not sure that they would hold the... But uh, if you get, you know, monster hunting, those things are big bigger than that um by the way hmm. name elgato by the, if you if you want to sure you no no he his name is called elgato i am okay. keldav again keldav oh elgato. okay keldav and that's um johan jansen was the hendrix brought him um all, all right I, I'm, I'm telling you what about. Janssen, yeah. it's um, uh, what's the 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 halflings they they call them um like Juanito Perez, uh, it's the <laughs> like, uh, John Doe. Oh yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> it it's it's you know when a story what's happened there? to the guy to the friend Would of a friend, like? it was Johan yeah. Janssen. Mm. It's it's the oh. the name. This is I thank you. Thank you very much. I this is information I really needed in my life. Um <laughs> Do you not so, have that? You gnomes no. don't have um I mean may, maybe gnomes in other places, but where where I come from it's not it's not that. Yeah. Uh we we, we tend to use more like John Doe kind of mm. nomenclature. Um, I just, and I'll look at, at, at Mara. Did you hear that? Yes, I did. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's all. It's Blackstone. Look, I, I didn't have sure. a name. I, I need, I need a something. It's all good. It's all good, L. You're good. Uh, we, call, we call them Fulan Al Fulani or Fulan Al Fulani. <laughs> You know what? I don't need this kind of energy right now. I'm going to fix that grain. Yeah, thank you. Hey, go so, for it, okay. JJ. You, you said you, you said um, you said that that about six to five thousand if we rent the whole ship to go there. If if we do if we so that is the cost to uh, rent a ship with the mounds, right? 
and, and yeah, for a week or whatever it takes to get there. I mean, probably your better bet is to just find a ship that's headed to Ice Beak. That's a much bigger city, a port city. It's uh, out in the right at the entrance to the to the Mithralfast Mountains. It's, ships go back and forth all the time. You might be able to find a, a ship that's already headed to Silduria there with you. Okay, um, yeah. And transport uh, how ships much would and, that would cost? Well, if you find someone headed that way, uh, it's a couple of days, maybe 300 gold for the beast of huh. yours, maybe 50 if you weren't. It's well, just it, it how where did do you, you want you do you want to take care of him? No. Okay, um, so we're we're leaving we we need to we need the beasts. Okay, uh, Daniel, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to do an insight. Sure. He looks very nervous. He yeah. is. <laughs> I, I, I can. Yeah, but yeah. Since, you, since you gather that too low perception. So. Yeah, you're getting the feeling that if you were to take off your cloak, he might have a violent reaction. Okay. Uh, he, someone very clearly not like Keldav. He can sort of fit into like he's probably heard of gnomes. And he can probably make it fit into an, uh, an idea. Maravilla fits pretty decently in his brain. He, he hasn't seemed to have acknowledged Gufren as vaguely on, like, person with armor on a... on a... mounted on something. Like, hasn't been processing that. So, yeah. He, he seems to be mostly stuck on El Gato, and the fact that El Gato is just not acting like the vicious predator that they appear to be. Well, okay, okay, okay. Um... I say, okay, don't worry. I, I I know. Do you want to touch him just to see? No. He's very. He's good. I yeah. want you to feel comfortable with him right now. Uh huh. I'm not joking. And I'll put my my entire arm inside Elgato's mouth, but just like a like a show of like, it's okay, and I'll remove it. And I'll scratch him behind the the flaps he has. You know, um, how about we put them up for the day in... And he looks around and he points towards this house. And yeah. he goes, in the Wainwright's barn. And, um, yeah. you can go inside with him or we can close the door. Look, Until... It, look, don't worry. They, if you need, the, if you want to be just a bit calm, calmer, and that will make you at ease, we'll do that. Don't worry. Just thank you. show us the way. Just show us the okay. way. Okay. He, he moves uh, sort of around. Like... Like that. Like going around. <laughs> and then... <laughs> <laughs> takes you, uh, and you see as he approaches, he sort of runs and talks to someone in the the house in front of the, the building that he pointed to. And uh, after a moment, uh, a couple comes out of that house, and you see as they take out a cart that was inside the the, the barn uh, area, and then they there's an open space where it seems to be a workshop where they make or repair carts and wagons and carriages and they they leave that open and there's plenty of space for El Gato to come in and rest and if you want Rohit or Penelope to stay here also but those are slightly more accepted like a big goat or an, an elk is a bit strange like stranger than a horse or a donkey would be but it, they don't provoke the same reaction as a yeah, large El Gato. Does. I, I mean, I'll, they have I'll, to stay somewhere, so... Yeah, we'll it's be... okay. It's good. Uh, how much for the space? Three gold. And I think you have the insight to know that he's just pulling that off the top of his head. Okay, and he's let's, like trying let's to... do something. Let's do something. I'm doing this for, to, for making you guys at ease. I'm paying one gold for the night, and it's so good. I'll, I'll flip the gold, and I'll say... Um, uh, I... But that will not... Uh, suffice, do you... Where can I find meat for this guy? 
Oh, uh, at the market. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's uh, cheese and uh, meat and wool. There's plenty of fish. Uh, the fish market is a little... Actually, it's pretty close from here. You can find it by the smell. And he points sure. in a vaguely like northeast direction uh, to that area. There are cocinerias there, maybe? Uh, there's some in the in the fish market, but if you okay. want like specifically some cooked food, you'd have to go to the market green for that. Um, <laughs> and I'll 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 look at, the, at at everyone and say, okay, let's close the door so you are a bit chill. Thank you. Now, are we better? Yes. Yes. Um, and he's like now looking at, at like Johan's clothes and at the rest of you and he's now his, you see, he, he is accepting the fact that you are a significant source of wealth and the fact that he mentioned five or six thousand and your reaction was not, that's impossible. It was like, okay, that's an option. Let's explore other options. And he's like <laughs> calculating like what that could mean. And was like, yes. Um, yeah, if you want some... You, you can get some fish uh, over at the market. Um, there's some that is very good, fresh, raw. There's some... Um, the pinchy things. Ceviche. Um, Ceviche. No. Crab. Crab. Machas. Crabs? Machas. Crab? The, I mean, there are crabs, but no, I'm talking about the... Um, Erizo. I think that's like what the halflings call it. Sea urchins? Yeah. <laughs> yes, those. Um, what? Which one? Sea How urchins, urchins. yeah. They're like very, very pinchy Eriso. rock, but then you open it and you can eat it. Um, I don't like the yeah. taste, but people tell me that it's good. Uh, mm. So you can have some of that. But really, if you want some of our, some of the, our, our cooked um, food, that over at the, the Market Green, there's actually right now, they're probably setting up and now it's closer to 1230. Uh, yeah, um, we have some, some open air tables that you can sit and eat there's people set up for they cook there's uh stews and um okay yeah is there a a, a guild of some sort here no um okay. there's a there's a blacksmith uh he's um i think he's part of a guild some from no, somewhere no, I'm, I'm thinking like adventures guild or oh no um, the, okay. the the fisher uh, the fishermen and, and, and the f and women they organize for to sell to the merchants um, okay. I, I don't they don't have like a, a, a house we have a house the council we um, okay where's the council's house oh it, it's on the other side of the of the market and he leads you guys past the watchtower and he sort of waves up to the guard uh, the town guard that's uh, up above and he put so this is the area that he refers to as the open air uh, eating place, and you can see as people are cooking and setting up. There don't seem to be that many people at the tables yet, uh, but there's uh, several Mara's tables really for bored. people to sit there. Mara gets instantly bored. Everything can wait, so she goes ahead. <laughs> sure. Uh, see and you then later. He, yeah, he points to a, a small but quite nice house on the other side. Uh, of that, uh, of the, of the okay. market green, which is where the council meets. Uh, and I think as you reach the market, the thing that you realize, the first thing that hits you that is very different about this town, is the aqueduct leading into the fountain. Hmm. Like, yeah, there's a large. It, it's like a waterfall out of a river, but it's coming from up the mountain, and a stone outcropping. Uh, standing at the top of it and water is rushing all the way down and then it falls into a small waterfall into the fountain and I think as you get close to it you realize the amount of water that is rushing down that aqueduct would be overflowing that fountain by a lot so it's some of it is going into the fountain but a lot more of it is like going elsewhere and you're in some of the steadings that you passed uh, there were wells and you think, like, there is no great source of fresh water in this area. There is no river for them to tap. So that's something. Like, you don't know where that water is coming from, from the top of that hill. But 
it's it's a huge source of water that this town is built around. So, uh, Maravilla, you said you, you go to this, uh, the open air, like, the tables are, are set up. You see there are multiple stalls set up uh, under the cover of this shaded canopy. And, I yeah, I think, way. yeah, yeah me you too. see that there yeah, are... Yeah, gonna go as well. There's, there's definitely some frying, like, they have a, like, a, a metal pot that is full of coals and it's a tremendous source of, of heat and on top of that they're setting up pans to fry fish and in fact I think yeah you see some uh, potatoes that they sell <laughs> next to it I okay, it's, salivating. it's very <laughs> good and I haven't eaten and I, I am not having a good Wait. time so, so yeah I haven't eaten her... anything since lunch I'm fucking starving okay. wow. so, no, so Mara takes out her uh, armor put it mm -hmm. beside and screams to a stand. Hey, you, bring me one of each of your dishes, please. And I and I prepare myself. Uh, are we <laughs> together here? Do, 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 do if you we want to. the elder man behind? No, I, I'm with the elder man. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm waiting for yeah, you to getting... get away from the elder man because I want to okay. say something. Okay. Um, What's so, the sorry, Dean? What's the outfit situation in the in the streets? Like, what what do the people wear? Uh, I think you see there's a, a mixture, particularly here in the market. The mm -hmm. alderman seems to be very, wearing quite um, very clean and and well fitting cotton uh, clothing. He mm -hmm. has a like a short like cape that that reaches uh, about the the middle of his arm yeah. and, and covers around the back. Uh, there's some, you see some hill dwarves that are dressed similar to him. Uh, they have uh, cloaks and, and well-fitting clothing. And then you see there is an eclectic mix. There's some uh, fisher folk that are wearing much rougher clothing. And you gather they maybe arrived uh, in the early hours of the morning and are now like eating what is their dinner. Like they left before dawn then they maybe they ate something out at sea and now they're coming back having caught uh, something and are having the third meal of the day and then there are some that you see a very different some very very bright colors that are probably sailors and there's most of the the half elves the half orcs that you see mm -hmm. are dressed in bright clothing and you notice their walk is different they they have a like a side to side it's walk swaying. that mm -hmm. you don't. There's like, and it take. I don't know if Lina is familiar with people who have their sea legs walking on mm. land. Not at all. So yeah, to you yeah, it looks a, like they have girl. a weird dance walk. All right. Um, so while we are going to uh, to the eatery places, I'm gonna mm -hmm. be turning around, like getting in between Maravilla and Gufran, and little by little, I'm gonna use this guy's self to turn my outfit into something, some like the <laughs> something inspired by the sailors, but not completely. But I'm going to keep the hat, just for uh, sure, just for vibes. I'm gonna put the picture on on Telegram, by the way. <laughs> uh, not art. I it's not art. So as, as the alderman work. notices that you guys are are setting up to eat, uh, he there's a moment where he sort of glances back at his house, and uh, he probably was planning on having uh, lunch at his house, but now he feels like he can't leave you. So if you want him to leave you alone, you have to like tell him like to come back and get you in 40 yeah, minutes or something. Uh, I, I, I or, am literally moving him away from the table because like mm -hmm. they are sitting and I'm not sitting with them. And I'm walking with him and I'll say, okay, um, we're most likely going to be in the inn. Uh, if you have any jobs you, you need doing, if it's, if there's sh short jobs, I think we can do them. If you need some answers, if you need some, if you have some questions, we're here. But I think, uh, unless you have something for us, uh, we need a bit of a of a breather. We we've had a long track. Sure, sure. Um, I can't think of any. I'll talk to some other people, see what yeah. they have. Um, he pats his pockets and he takes out. It looks like a a round wooden token, like like a large wooden coin that has uh, an anvil sort of pressed into it. 
uh, like charred into the wood. He goes, um, here, uh, it's, a, it's a free sample. You can uh, go up to the, and he points at the eatery, and there's some stalls that have like small barrels. He goes, it's for the, the merchants. They can get, um, yeah, they free samples to see if they want to buy. Anyway, here you go. Um, thank you. Well, thank you. Yeah. And you see, he's figuring out now that he's going to have to be telling this story to everybody who's... And in fact, there are several people out here on the market that are, like, looking at him to go, like, what's going on? And he's like, yeah, uh, I'll have lunch, enjoy, and then we'll talk. If you need. Oh, yeah, no, um... Well, you can reach me. That was my house. You can yes, come get me. Yes, it's all good. Um, all right. I Go. imagine you will know where we are at all times. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you, Keldav. Yes. Keldav. Ha have a nice meal. Um, yeah, thank you. you and then he way. turns... Your lunch. Yeah, he, he takes two steps and immediately he's accosted by people who are asking him questions <laughs> and he's trying to make his way back to his house. I'll, I'll, I'll give the, 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 sam the, the free sample mm -hmm. chip and I'll, I'll put it on the table and say, for you guys, figure out if you want to try something here. Um, uh, so, what is... Yeah. What's the deal with the ship? Yeah, right now I think they're not thinking straight. I think we're the weirdest bunch they've seen in about their lives. People so, should be yeah, uh, already. He was scared. Uh, yeah, he was a lot of things. Um, so I think for now we relax and start talking to the sailors and the sheep owners. I want to give uh, El Gato a good meal right now. I heard about something about a uh, monster hunter ships, like something yeah. like that. Why yeah. are we paying for one of those if we can work on one of those? Yeah, the thing is that they, the ones that are working here, don't tend to go to the other continent. They told me that he told me that if we were, we're gonna have better luck if we go to Ice Peak. Uh, so we we just go from here in a ship to there and from there there are a lot of sheeps that actually do the trek so i think for now just um i want to understand a bit more and to be honest my dear friend i want to talk to hendrick all right back the fuck up and I'm just saying, like, if we get on a monster hunter ship and yeah, yeah. they are going to get on a fight with a monster and we yes. are going to participate, either because yes. Gufran is going to jump and say, I'm going to save you, or Mara <laughs> is going to say, I'm going to eat that, or me saying, I, I need that as a, as, a thing, as a thing. And we are going to do their jobs and we are going to kill no, everything. No, no, the problem, no, no, and the problem I, is that the I'm ships are small. I'm not in the market of paying for doing someone else's job. No, no, I, 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 I get it, and I, I agree. I agree, the problem is, that that's not the problem. The problem is that right now, those ships are small, so we are not gonna be able to travel with our mounts to, uh, to the other side of the continent. That is, that's why I think it's better for us to just to sail to Ice Beak, and from there find a bigger ship, a ship that is used to the to the actual the to travel to the other continent to cross the sea. I mean, that's my opinion right now with the information I have right now. We need to find more information. I think it's very good if 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 you want if you. Take care of the crane. Uh, if you need any help with that, I'm gonna feed uh, El Gato, and then I'll I'll be there if if you need any help. If you need I, any I, help, I can help. Maybe I need your help because there is some heavy stuff that I need to move. I'm going to help. See, you're useful now. No, no, pretty nice. I was confused. I was confused. 
<laughs> so, I, I just wanted to say that because I, I want to get paid, no paid, in, and 5,000 gold? Like, is, no, he's, is no, he no. mental? Like, what? No, no, no. No, no, don't worry. Don't worry. Like he's a hum human. They don't I make believe. a gold a okay, week. Okay, question. Are you guys making an effort to have this conversation in a stealthy voice? Because there are yeah. other people around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's up to kill them. Kill them is absolutely kill. doing that. Jokan's yeah. voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill them is always like, like, like grabbing uh, <laughs> Johan and sitting him down and saying like, just like lower your voice. Uh, and actually looks at, at Siege and says, help me lowering his voice. And I imagine Siege grabbing him and lowering him down. <laughs> okay, I get it. But yeah, they don't make like, they make like, I don't know, five silvers a week. You are obsessing with the idea of doing this right now. We haven't decided anything. We get more information first. All right. Thank you. Do we need to interrogate someone then? Not right now. Maybe the elder one knows something. <laughs> Dude, I think I'm, Mara I'm wants to eat. I think, I think. Ah, everyone yeah. wants to eat. W waiter, uh, <laughs> a glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. I'll be right so, back. And Kelda yeah. Kel literally goes to fi to buy. Um, I, I think fish to see if actually uh, Elgato will eat fish. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. So, I think Elgato yeah. is going to eat everything. If he honors his name, I, I imagine, but I need to I, we need to try Elgato before we go. We are on a ship. Like goblins. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. But those are so, earth goblins, not sea goblins. <laughs> They're different. <laughs> yeah. Well, so yeah, uh, the uh, the people who stay at the the open air space to eat, uh, you can imagine, this is a town that mostly has sheep. So, mutton and cheese, and then it also has a tremendous amount of, of fishing products. So, whatever you can imagine, and actually they, they do have some potatoes that they grow and some other leafy greens. So, to spare your stomachs, whatever you choose to imagine uh, that would be sold here to eat, you have. Uh, there is a pretty mediocre wine it's not vinegar I, I, but it's i don't care yeah. i'm not drinking i'm just sitting <laughs> and <laughs> the, 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 the glass and yeah. i uh, wet my lips and ah yeah <laughs> uh maravilla i think you you uh redeem the the wooden token that you got from the alderman and it's a pretty decent ale um you you drink it and there is the the flavor of hops but also there is a spice and you can tell me like what additional flavor Maravilla would find really interesting and good uh, that Mid she hadn't uh, found before. Merke? Yeah. I was just thinking about that. That's such a good idea. Like a michelada <laughs> yeah. with Merke. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, here we go. Mm. Mm. <laughs> sure. So good. Um, so Mara um, and in fact, yeah, it, it matches with, with the anvil and it goes, uh, it was, yeah, it was originally an accident of that batch. But then oh. it, it turned out pretty good, and now they make it, and it uh, it's part of the the heat of the forge that they oh. package and sell with that uh, with that ale. Like it. Yeah, Keldav, you make your way to the fish market. The smell is significantly stronger. You see, there are buckets of like trays of ice, and the fish are placed on on top of that, and uh, you gather that they mm. must be getting that ice from somewhere. That's not. Yeah, like you're looking around. It's summer, but they're using that. And uh, in fact, yeah, you can ask around, and they tell you that they they store hat. Like some of the ships bring ice, and there are warehouses here that store the fish to then take it further inland into the the dwarven uh, cities, and they get to buy some of that ice to use here in their in their markets. I think if you want to take a significant snack for El Gato, it's not a wheelbarrow, but close. I was of... literally thinking about a wheelbarrow. I'm not sure. Joking. I was like, so yeah, you for like a copper, someone like lends you their wheelbarrow and you load yeah. it up with fish, 
and you, it, the copper is mostly because of the smell that is going to be left on the wheelbarrow as you mm -hmm. take it and uh, El Gato happily eats. Uh, I think Penelope uh -huh. does not like the smell, but... How much uh, is uh, the, the actual fish? Probably a silver or two. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll pay you Just because uh, of the, the amount. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I'll, it's, I'll pay Yeah. I'll pay two silver just uh, like I imagine they're like trying to figure out how much like they're saying one but one one is too low and I'll like okay give you you have two it's okay you can have them um and I'll and I'll say uh the alderman told said something about uh dried fish or something like that do you 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 do you have that yeah um it's expensive but yeah one of the we salt it um it most of the cells are um they prefer fresh right but sometimes the ice runs low so we have a yeah it's expensive because salt but yeah with some cured fish and one of the one of the stalls has like literally fish that are hanging and that have yeah. been uh dried out on on salt how how long does this stay i mean the guidance stall. weeks uh, okay, it's not that long. Yeah, I know. If, okay. you, if you want it for a long time, you gotta pickle it. But um, not everyone will eat some pickled fish. So, no, no, it's an I, I imagine taste. I, I wouldn't eat pickled fish. I'll, I'll buy and I'll look at one of the smallest portion. Mm. I'll, I'll buy one just to see what's the, the taste. Uh, I'll, 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 I, I wouldn't even, um. I actually wouldn't even ask. I'll give him a silver coin, uh, and I'll and I'll say thanks. I'll pocket it and I'll go to to thank to you. the barn. Can uh, can you guys remind me uh, how much uh, gold and platinum and everything the, the we conversion? got from we got from the purple barn? Oh, okay. Oh, it's like so a if you want, everyone got two hundred seventy-one platinum, one silver, and six copper. Uh, no. right. Can you write it, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can write it. Don't worry. Uh, so two six no uh, two seventy-one. Add it to my uh, character Platinum, so. one silver, and six copper. So that's. That's what. That's the money. Um, the the. I have the gems written down. If you want them later, I can I can send the, the message with the gems. I, I have them written mm -hmm. down here. Um, I'll I'll yeah I'll I'll not, I'll actually uh, if Penelope and I imagine Rohit doesn't eat. Go for it. I think it's uh, definitely not fish. Elena uh, <laughs> doesn't so. eat, but I doesn't imagine he eat more like more like a more like a kind of a, kind of an elemental creature? Like yeah, yeah. So yeah, de yeah. yeah. Uh, that's what I was Ro thinking. Rohit when... probably can choose to eat, but yeah. the it's not right. even like this is a barn that has like hay or food for other animals. Like this is, <laughs> but there's like sawdust uh, in there. I don't know. That's why I was asking because I'm gonna buy hay for. For oh, no, I thought I thought there was hay. If, if there wasn't hay, hay, any hay, I would have. Yeah, don't yeah, worry. You I'll, I'll, I'll... killed have to get some. Sure. Yeah, I'll I'll Thank I'll you. take care of that. Don't worry. Um, and I'll get some hay inside. I imagine I can like, when I go in the barn, I imagine someone is looking if the the Drake is gonna bust out and just yeah, like tear you you have to get there <laughs> and there's a I'll heavy wooden bar put across and you have to go knock at the at the house and explain that you're going to feed yeah. them and then yeah they very carefully like remove the bar and are looking at you to see like how were like is it, are they going to pop out and eat yeah but no they just like you open the door and you wheel in the wheelbarrow and then there's some noises as el gato starts <laughs> munching in quite yeah. pleasantly and then you walk out and pick up the bale of hay and take it back inside and a few minutes later you walk out with the empty wheelbarrow yeah and I'll say, I mean, if is there a window inside? Because it's gonna stink as motherfucker if we don't leave something open. Uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> can you go in and open it? It's just I mean, a, a latch. Yeah, don't worry. I, I, I can do it. I'm just asking where. Sure. Where is yeah. It? No, we have it for for ventilation. Um, yeah. And I'll, I'll open the the ventilation windows and I'll say. Sure. Do you want to look at it closer? I mean, he's not a harmless, but if you're with me, nothing's going to happen. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I'll... And the this yeah. a young man is probably like maybe maybe 20, maybe late teens, like walks in with you. And they're like, "Wow. Come Where closer." And I'll, uh... I'll I'll literally put my hand it on the on the head, scratch it and say, "You can do it." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the... I mean, that is a way of doing it. That's a dragon? Like no, it's... it's a drake. Does it breathe fire? No. Oh. It's a lot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. How did you, like, get it when it was, like... No, actually, it's a strange you... story. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, it's a strange story. We uh, we were fighting a cult, and they were controlling him. We freed him and domesticated him. Made a potion out of the brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say <laughs> that. I, I, I remember that. I am not gonna say that <laughs> for the guy that is actually right. taking care of my fucking drink. And we drink. feed him people. Yeah, Corpuses. I'm not gonna say that either. <laughs> a cult. Yeah, I can totally see that. Cool. It yeah, likes I mean, fish. Yeah, apparently it's the first time he eats it. Cool. Yeah. So, again, I wanted you to, to be with him so you're not that fucking scared. You think he could pull want... a cart? Yeah, he actually has. For I'm a long time. Or... What? How yeah. fast? Yeah. I mean, he's fast. I forgot the speed of the... Yeah, Velgado. it's... A at it's least as fast as a, as a person, yeah. but much stronger. So, yeah. yeah. yeah, you, yeah, could, yeah. you might go faster with a horse, but this is cooler. <laughs> yeah. The cool factor is something See? That not, yeah. that never avoid. <laughs> never miss nice. it, like never underestimate. It. Yeah, and yeah. You you gather no, as I mean, the, the, the young for, Wainwright for is dreaming of some kind of awesome wagon pulled by this fearsome beast. I mean if you if you wanna again, if you know something someone that wants to actually touch it actually touch it and look at it and look at him like just tell me there's no problem i want you to be a bit comfortable because this guy is inside your shop yeah um i'm cool but that's it i got it <laughs> i'm gonna yeah you got I'll it i'll get him some uh, fish yeah and yeah i think you have the in insight to realize yeah now this guy's thinking like I'm gonna show some of my friends, and this I'm gonna be cool. Yeah, don't come inside alone. Oh, yeah, with me. If not, okay, I can't answer where, for him. Where, where, where are you staying? In the inn. In. Oh, the um, the the Swift Seal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Cool. It. The door can be open, by the way. Just don't go inside. And I'll and I'll scratch him. Uh, I'll look at Penelope, see here how sh if she's eating or not, if she's comfortable. And uh, yeah, I think she's enjoying Rukid the hay. Well. Yeah, munching I'll, I'll look at Rukid and I'll and I'll I'll leave now with the windows op open. I'll I'll go back to the group. Wonderful. I think with that, uh, the rest of you have finished your meal uh, and you notice as you're finishing there's several groups of sailors that are uh, sitting down to eat you see some uh, probably some herders that are uh, like shepherds I mean that are coming by and they like go up to the counters and they ask for something and then they walk out uh, eating uh, what they got and there's starting to be more movement along the market you see there's 
uh, setups where stands where they're selling wool and uh, knitted items, and it's beginning to be more of a a, a festive uh, atmosphere. But you realize the market is a lot bigger than what it's currently being used for. Like you gather probably maybe at in holy days or some kinds of festivals, more stuff gets set up, and this is just what they have on regularly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I think you you realize probably right now if you wanted to talk to a to a sailor and ask about what what sort of things uh, are out there, you could, or you could go find the the alderman and arrange for for more discussion, or go visit Hendrik, who might or might not be home as a shepherd. You wanted to visit him, right, Johan? John? Johan? What was the other name? Johan Blackstone is the name. Don't you get on this. Like, <laughs> like I said, I, I didn't remember anything. Like, I, I, I had no memory. I needed a name. They gave me a name and I changed it to make it better. Right? Good. I believe the placeholder name was Johan Janssen. Johnson. <laughs> Sam, please. Not your name, the local regional placeholder name. Yeah, like John Doe. They don't say them to them. Then I'm going to tease me. And then I don't like to be teased. Question, do we need to change your name in each, in each town? No, you don't need. Johan Blackstone is my name. No Dell, no Johan Jansen, <laughs> Johan Blackstone. Okay. The can we of have Parker. a? Can we have like a, a list for ourselves though? What the artist formerly known as? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like imagine, imagine you want to tag something, but you don't want to. You want to be like the mystery. Actually, um, this kind of works for me. <laughs> you know, so they could know you here as, I don't know, Jen Jansen. <laughs> and you could be Johan Jansen somewhere else and it would not be the same person, but it would actually be, and that's a story. But no one knows it's you because you're Johan Blackstone. No, no, no! Everyone has to know who I am and yeah. what I do. I don't. I, I, that doesn't work. Hey. I need more titles, more stuff added to me, not different names. That doesn't work. Or maybe. Ah! No! Don't try to convince me to this. <laughs> Imagine if 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 your tag were like uh, Johan the Godly Creator. Would you agree to that? Godly creator. Now that has some impact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I could get behind that. I'm going to give okay, you an, so an, an hand axe. You give me a hand axe? Yeah. You wanted more thing on you. <laughs> <laughs> that that's not what I mean. I mean some. Stuff that I do, like people get re can recognize me. Like oh. the Wizard of Karken, that's a pretty good title. Like it's impactful. I understand. Can you give me it, my it hand next? Then there is a wizard that that is pretty important on Harken. It's the Wizard of Harken, not like a Wizard of Harken. Okay, I understand. <laughs> but other places can't have wizards. It's like doesn't have people almost in it. But yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty big stuff. I understand. Can you give me my hand axe then? Sure. I don't know. I, I don't know how to use this. Okay. Anyway, what we're, what are going going to do now? Uh, I, I have to fix a crane. Keldav said says uh, chill out, and we have to take yeah. a break. I imagine mm -hmm. I'm not there yet. I imagine mm -hmm. you're having a sure. conversation. 
So you know, yeah. Maybe we can just, I don't know, go go swimming or just relax a little bit or, I don't know, go shopping. And, man, I want, I want to go shopping for something, but I don't know what is there. Take, could we, could we, could we ask Thomas? Maybe later, like if there's anything cool to buy here, like souvenirs and stuff. We could have a souvenir collection too. He's going to try to sell you crap. Like the seashells. Oh, wow. Look. <laughs> discarded seashells from an animals from the sea. Wow. So oh, I'm, I'll magical. make them pretty. Okay, Alejandro, this is Jose. I'm going to punch you. Yeah, as a good, uh, as a as Kokimo people, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, you're totally correct. That's everything yeah, we have. Exactly. What you know about it? I'm saying it's true. <laughs> anyway, uh, all the fish talk uh, made me uh, order something, so I'm going to grab it. And be right back. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, are you guys gonna talk to some, like to one of the fisher, fishing guys over there? Maybe wander, wander off to the docks and look at I the, mean, look at the ocean, like I experience mean, and, the ocean, and, the sea. Yeah, and, and ask, like, like make some. Yeah. No, I, I was, I was I, like, I was asking because because I'm Caleb is not there. I was asking if you're gonna actually talk to the guys that are sit like beside you, that are fishermen. Mm. I don't know. We, yeah, we'll it, it feels like maybe Nina? like I don't know. The group maybe wants to like go to the look at the water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, that's what I'm asking. Like, yeah. that's what I'm asking. Feel the the sea and the ocean. I feel like uh, I feel like Lena has a has a like a like a bucket list of things that she wants to do, uh, you know, at a beach town. Uh, okay. Definitely try to pick some of the uh, some of the accents of people too, so that when we actually sail, you know. Mm -hmm. So she's going to be listening to the way. Be <laughs> actually, what what topics are there to listen to on on the adjacent tables? Us. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> like what? What's the word of the day? What's the what's the gossip, <laughs> if any? You hear there's a lot of talk of icebreakers, and you're like, what is that? Is that a tool? Is that a is that a kind of ship? But the way they're talking, it's more like wolves. Like people are worried about icebreakers, and they've been sighted, and they they talk about like losing catch because of the. The icebreakers are, are getting further and further south. Like, that's the main talk between both the sailors that you gather are from the, the larger ships that hunt uh, beasts, sea beasts, and the fishermen that are like, complaining about the, the their catch, and they're agreeing with them with each other that it's because, yeah, there's something's going on, and the, the, these icebreakers that they refer to are, have been, yeah, drifting south and eating into their their fish and yeah it's like that's the the topic of conversation that you pick up there's also other mm -hmm. things like they talk about you know uh some of the sheep have gotten sick and uh, they've had to burn some of the wool and some of the cheese ended up tasting bad but that seems much more ordinary uh discussion and there's talk about how having to make offerings to cord and melora to set out uh into the ocean to make sure you have good weather and a good catch. Mm -hmm. But the, the thing that, like, the, the one that jumps out at you is like, I don't know that word, I don't know what's going on, is the, the talk of the icebreakers. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe right, we thinking. can ask? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, like, um, approach them and say, yeah. sorry, you're like, we, we were... Le lean over and we're like, hey, what's an icebreaker? And, like, uh, yeah. they, I think they look at each other and then... Almost by like, default, they turn to uh, an older-looking sailor who was like, Well, I could tell you, I'm feeling a little thirsty. Maybe you need to drink water. I, I hear that that help. 
<laughs> uh, water. I'm tired of water. And he like points to the to the sea and like I need something. Tasty. <laughs> Okay, so I buy him a beer. Sure. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Whatever. Lassie. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you about the icebreakers. It's up north, deep into the Frostfell. And I'm going to shift you guys over to the map. Ooh. Ooh. As in between Nerath and Silduria, there is an area of deep deep ice and you're aware of this area being the, the sea of gnashing ice because icebergs clash into each other uh, but he's talking about even further north beyond that that whole area that expanse of ice and snow is referred to as the frost fell and he goes it's way up north deep where the ice is so thick you wouldn't know you're on land anymore because the islands never melt down to the rock and then you hear it crack. And somewhere out there, under the blinding white, it's hunting you. You're out in the water, you can spot a shark fin. Maybe you can see the wake of its passage. But in the ice, by the time you see the fin, it's too late. You better hope you find dry land because the wood of your boat, it's not gonna stop it. They can smash through the ice right out and get you. And the wood of your boat, well, that's a toothpick. And yeah, the icebreaker is a kind of shark that hunts under the ice. Oh, oh. Wow. And they're saying they're, yeah, like moving further south and affecting the, the catch of fish and yeah, possibly. So what size are, are they like the size of a, one of the sheep? Uh, I mean, people say they've seen massive ones, but no, I'm more... He, he like, points at Siege and goes, no, uh, What? 15 feet? So, three squares. Yeah. Mm -hmm. four, and, four and a half to five meters. So you're saying these 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 type of creatures are coming south, moving well, south, further south than normal, in the summer. Oh. See, in winter we get some more of the more of the ice makes it this far south. This time of year, well, they tend to stick up past the reach. They don't hunt so good beyond it. Mm. And oh, have you ever, like, faced any of them by any chance? Uh, no, I'd be damned. Uh. <laughs> you hunt an icebreaker, I... you better have an ironclad ship. And they don't make those outside of Icebeak. And them dwarves, they don't let them sail out into open waters. But if that's what you wanted to do, uh, you get yourself a ship made out of something harder than wood. Mm. These days, if you want to hunt them, well, you make sure you're on dry land, and then you set up some bait. A good hook, and you try to get it on dry land, because if, if it drags you out to sea, well... What do you what? think is the best bait for them, actually? Because that would be a great story. Uh, People. Mm. Seals? I guess they're nice. It has to be bigger than just a regular fish. Well, sure. I just told you how big the shark is. He's not oh, gonna... Yeah. He, like, points to Maravilla. Might not even notice her. Wouldn't have to chew. No, that's oh. a terrible way to hunt. Don't try and get swallowed by one. Lots of Hi. teeth. Hi. <laughs> Um, Lena's getting ideas of Mara's uh, extreme attacks why, from, why from the you, cast. Why are you talking about these creatures so far from, from their homeland? Uh, have they attacked here? No, no. But, um, you know, we go out. 
try and get some fish, try and maybe hunt one of the one of the leviathans, one of the great beasts. And I think, yeah, with Keldav I don't, gone, I don't know who has the higher insight, but you see that this the, he's putting on some kind of act for you, yeah. trying mm. to pretend to be yeah. I have insight plus than, five, but I... That, yeah, that's so kind of what I want you, to. You're so. familiar with, like, boastful warriors, and yeah. this is something like that? With a 14 passive, yeah. I don't know. Ah, like, uh, insight. What the... You know. I have 14 also. <laughs> it, it, it's too late into the year. It's the, the summer. We shouldn't be seeing any ice icebreakers, but we're still getting some now. I mean, like it was winter. Mm. What be your name, fine sailor? Uh, you can call me Bill. Bill. <laughs> Bill the sailor. Bill. Bill the sailor. Bill the hunter. He and he's, you see, he like looks at the other people that are on, at his table and go like, "Don't you fuckers don't say anything." Like, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> oh really? What I have you hunted guy. before? I'd love to oh. hear that. You know, I can't. I'm gonna tell you something, Bill. I can make your stories really, really famous inland where people don't don't really know the sea. What's a good story you're willing to tell me? Oh, or what's wow. the what's the greatest? Actually, that's a question. What is the greatest game you've ever hunted? When I was young and dumb, headed down south, past the Shatterkill Reef. See, it's fools that say that. Some of the beasts that the Winter Skull brought down with them are still around. More than a century later, they never found their way back up north into the ice, so they just wander. And when they see a boat, well, they remember. You know the... And he's sort of seeing the fact that you guys aren't recognizing, goes, Ah, you don't know the story. See, when my grandfather's gr grandfather was fishing these waters... We had a tidal wave of ice and death that swept down and washed away their lives. It was a fleet of longships led by the Winter Skull, the greatest raider that the seas have known. Mm -hmm. And on their ships, they were being towed by these gargantuan beasts from the depths, and they obliterated every ship in its way. They raided every city on this coast. Yeah, the dwarves, they, they just fled back up into their caves. But there were some rich sods all about the Dragon Down coast. They had nowhere to hide except their old walls and prey that they would hold. Silver and gold from all over got taken up onto those ships. But they got greedy. They kept sailing further south into warm waters. And their ships got sluggish. The beasts were not used to it. So the Narathi fleet smashed right into them right off the coast of, well, the Shatterkeel Reef. That's what it's called. For days and days, they fought. And hundreds of ships fell to the, to the depths. And really, even more beasts. So now, their skeletons are amid the wrecks uh, deep underwater. And, uh, yeah, it, I mean, it's 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 still dangerous, right? I mean, you go there, but the thing is, it was for so long that it attracted creatures to feast on the corpses, and they got used to it, and they stuck around. So, so the the legends say that there are monsters that escaped the battle, but never made back up to the ice, so they roam around still, trying to find their way back. We never saw one, but there were plenty of sharks, <laughs> plenty of... Well, we never saw the Kraken, is what we were looking for, right? But, um... Yeah. Do you have a ship? I'm on, I, I, I'm on a ship. Are you the captain? No. No. Who Our be captain, your captain is, uh... Hold on, let me check the name. 
Yeah, our captain is uh, Bellamy O'Keer. Yeah, she's a... She's a wild one, I'll tell you. Commands the winds themselves. And that's why her ship is the swift stream. And let me tell you. When a monster too big tries to swallow the ship whole, boy, you're glad she can get us out of there. Let can I make, can I make an go. insight check on... Sure. We need to go. Uh, wait, where do I, where do I go? Ah, uh, here we go. Um, and basically my insight is how... Oh, shit. No, I, I have no idea. Move on. <laughs> yeah. He, this, I mean... Uh, it's very convincing. This guy's very impressive. Yep. He clearly did some, like, wild sailing in his youth, and he's hugely proud of his captain and ship at the moment. Were you going to say something? Uh... Well, maybe we should, we could go and talk to this captain. Maybe she can tell us something more, some tip. Maybe she can sail us to the other continent. That's what or, I mean. We may, yeah. okay, Bill, we may or may not be looking for a really good ship to take us to Iso... Sildurio? Ice. Well, no, Ice that's Peak. like... Right? Because yeah. we're going to Ice Peak first? No, are no, we, no. Do no, we have this no, conversation? Let's, let's uh, you guys have or, like yeah, talked about good. options. Hmm. So yeah. Let's ask you first if, if she can get us to the other continent. I mean, if he don't... said that to cross the ocean, it was better to have like a steel ship. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. That, that's yeah, that's if the... you want to hunt icebreaker. Ah, yeah. Okay. yeah, an icebreaker. Yeah, but so maybe get to the other side. I mean, it's called the swift stream. Like, you don't call yourself something that you are don't. Like, come on. <laughs> that's right. That's why I'm Bill the Hunter. Mm hmm. I'm um, Johan, the godly the creator. Yeah. Can, I, can I get there about this sure. time? And I'll say, oh, you're the hunter. Did you guys tell him about the 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 time we killed the, a fisher king? The what? Oh, yeah. The, so we basically killed this worm. guy. I'm going to pull out the sketchbook and show him the kingfisher worm sketch. The the holy shit. Worms. Like full spread? Yeah, it's yeah. a full spread, actually, with all the organs <laughs> and stuff. And... How many were on your ship? No, no, that's on land. Yeah. Just, on the tunnels, just us. The tunnels. How does that thing go on land? It's a snake. It's like um, he eats the, the land and and burrows and just goes like a fish on land. Oh, so you hooked onto it and followed it down in the tunnels? No, mm. we just uh, fought him uh, in uh, the uh, tunnels. Why are we stupid here, actually? It. Do you remember the bait part? Well, yeah. we were the bait. And we yeah. fought it. And unwillingly, I, I may add. And, and someone got inside and then started to stab it. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> huh. All right, maybe you should talk to the captain. <laughs> maybe. Okay, then. And hey, no, uh, and he's, no, so returns yeah. to the to the rest of the crew. I'm gonna go take these to the captain. What's your name? Um, he's talking to like oh, the I'm, the group. Yeah, the no, heroes of Arkin. The heroes of Arkin. Heroes of Arkin. Plus one. Mm. You're an ordinary bit... hero of Arkin, I think. But she didn't say Arkin. I I I I understand the sentiment, but that's why yeah, I no, said I'm... honorary. It's, I'm not going to take honor. credit. Don't, don't worry about it. I like the plus one too. Maybe we need to change the name. Okay, guys. <laughs> what <the> fuck? <laughs> I want to go shopping anyway. Bill. What? what? Yeah. Bill. Heroes of Harkin. <laughs> yeah, Bill. Um, it, would, it would be fantastic to talk to uh, Bellamy. Captain O'Kear. Um, yeah. Captain O'Kear. Right. <laughs> um, so maybe we're gonna look for her because we're, we actually just arrived and oh. uh, we need to rest a little bit, but it was really interesting listening to you. I'm going sure, to... Sure, we're in town for a couple of days. I think. Yeah, really? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, so... We, we just you, arrived. If you, yeah, if you bring us your captain, we'll, we'll offer you free drinks. 
Actually, that's a good idea. I'm down for that. Sure. You're staying at the... Um, the Swift... Um, the Swift Seal, yes. Yeah, yeah I got confused because of my... The ship, right? The Swift so. Seal? The Swift no, Seal? No, that's where we're staying. It, that, it, this everything is going is, to be... Everything is really <laughs> swift here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you so, better be to stay alive. Well, that's true. Um, that's true. That's, What's the farthest uh, your ship go? Like, does it does it reach uh, Selduria or? Uh, it should. Um, good time to get there. It's uh, less ice on the way. Um, well, you gotta talk to the captain about that. We don't usually have to go that far into the reach. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm just asking you just to have a a, a preliminary idea. But yeah, uh, no, we can go, we can go deep. All right, all right. I like the attitude. I like the idea. I don't know what you guys. You lot are okay. You're. Uh, yeah, we can. I don't know that be whole okay. being the bait business. Um, doesn't really work so good when you're the boat and you need the boat to get back. So I if mean, the monster eats the boat, I mean, maybe you kill the monster, but then you drown, right? No, uh, here's the thing. We I were we were the bait, the hook, the rod, and the boat at the same time. It, it, it kind of happened to us, like we didn't yeah. plan to. Ah, uh, that explains it. Water? Still, but we we are that good. Impressive that, we that did you, it yeah, anyway. you made it. Well, I can I can make us walk on water, and we can run from the ship on the water. Whoa! And be bait. <laughs> I can't drown. But you can sink. Oh but yeah, I true. can make you not sink. Actually, yeah, you might wanna. Tie yourself to the ship. Um, you don't wanna. Because most people, they go overboard, they float for a bit. Um. Mm. No, I believe I sink. Well, anyway. sure. All, all that armor you're wearing. Not, not yeah. good. I'm going to start to talk and say it's not an armor, so is someone going to stop no, me no, in no, the no. moment. No, 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 no. He's a knight. A really mm. steam knife. I don't think that... <laughs> Gufran is not getting this, by the way. Yeah. Gufran, like, Gufran, 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 my friend, my friend. Yeah. Come here. <laughs> and I'll, and I'll, and I'll this literally is not just... awkward at all. <laughs> not at all. And I'm like... Why, why is... Why is... And why I'll, is and I'm like, saying that... <laughs> Remember that there's a lot of places where they don't understand siege. Wait, but there's Sam. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to retcon that Sam went back into the bag. Oh, and at oh, best true. is just yeah. the helmet, but maybe is nothing and is just uh, out I of the Sam amulet. Wasn't wasn't yeah. talking. That uh, wasn't walking with us. That yeah. yeah. I mean, Sam yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, was fully collapsed back into the. Sam. Um, yeah. I, yeah. I, I only I can hear Sam. Okay. So I'm like, so we say he's a knight, okay, Gufron? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you know. So I, I, so I give uh, the guy another beer so he mm -hmm. gets yeah. distracted. <laughs> and Any, anyway, talk to your captain. Tell about, tell, uh, tell her about us. Uh, sure. Nina, you, you want to shop, right? Yeah. I'm I'm here I'm here for a lot of business, but it Thank was hey, it was really good talking to you, Bill. We're gonna we're gonna talk to you later, Thank okay? Yeah. Cheers. You were very nice. Very good story. I'm gonna tell the guild, and uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> They're going to scam you, but uh, don't buy the sisters. Really, they they got kids collecting the stuff. It's it's child labor actually. Really? Don't do Is it. That... What? Yeah! <laughs> some mother says, Oh, you better come home with some X number of seashells, and they turn it into necklaces and rings and all that stuff. It's really cruel. Don't do it. Uh, but I need to buy some stuff. Yeah, me too. Yeah, Actually, me too. Actually, hey, Bill, do you know like any really good stores like to buy stuff? Uh, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking um, for clouds, but I'm also looking a general for general store. Any uh, if you want like uh, like a scarf or some gloves, there's, uh, he points to some of the stalls. They like uh, knitted like wool stuff over there. Uh, that's about 
Yeah. Yeah, do you know if there's if they sell anything like super special around here? I mean there's some occasional like monster parts that we got. Alright, thanks. Uh, I'll turn around fish. <laughs> Actually now you have uh, my attention. Do you know any kind of sailor, like very daring one, that can comes around with something really interesting? Sure. Monster parts? Yeah, I mean, most of the time uh, they go uh, straight to. What's the town? Shatterstone? Shatterstone? And, like, you would know that that's uh, one of the middle dwarven kingdoms under the, the mountains. Uh, but, you know, occasionally we'll have a, something left over, a beak, a tentacle, uh, scales. Scales are big, because they're so useful. You can make plates, you can make shingles, you can make, um... I get it. Don't worry. Don't, yeah. don't hurt your brain. <laughs> don't hurt your brain. <laughs> oh, all right. Point me to those after we, you talk with the, with the captain. Let's go. Good job. Hey. All right. We're going to finish uh, the empanadas first, though. Yeah. With <laughs> that, yeah. You finish your meal, and if there are any ordinary things you want to buy at the general store, we can do that in between sessions. All right. And then we can mm -hmm. pick up next time as you continue to explore. I throw the, the wine over my shoulders and, <laughs> and tequila <laughs> in front of me. All right. I Wonderful. Don't... We're ready. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, yeah. And with that, we'll pick up next time as oh. we continue Ber in Bergport, and then finally make we it. We've advanced so much. Yeah. In yeah. one session. Yeah. It's it's almost like we crammed three sessions into <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's almost like we didn't roll uh, random encounters. Exactly. We actually, yes. <laughs> I pre-rolled for weather, which is why you got rain the first night. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, you so like much for watching. Subscribe. Yeah. We laughed a lot. Like. Mm -hmm. Leave a comment. And All everything things. and everything that YouTube yeah. likes. Yeah. yeah so. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone, and see you in the next time. Say bye-bye, everyone. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. bye.